Welcome everybody to the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. It's another special guest episode during Chuckle Week. We got Hassan. What's going on? And Chuckle Week. It literally sounds like an event at like a bargain basement comedy club. (laughs) Welcome to Chuckle Week. It's only a one drink minimum tonight. Go get your fucking chuckles. Listen, give us a break, okay? We're we're called Chuckle Sandwich. We're having a week where we record a bunch of sa- fucking sandwiches. 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 <laughs> just just <laughs> B-roll, just B-roll of he, fucking stuff. He's coming after me. I'm starting to break down. Finish my I intro. I don't, know why, I don't know why we just came We've got so Will Neff here. Say, yeah, I mean, kind of wish he wasn't go. here now. It's very good, crazy. very good, very good. God, I'm dude, happy to be a part of the fucking. Week. Welcome to the bargain bin. <laughs> Holy crap. So is there anything else you want to like just like rag on right now, Will? No, your set is awesome. Your set is awesome, but I do wish I had a sandwich. But we're both fat kids at heart, so... Right. Well, also, I'm fat in general. Right? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah. So his heart is reflecting his outside yeah, right now. True. Hey. This is the truth. Heart you. We're just oh, okay. We can't. We can't, we, can't <laughs> good one. Yeah. we can't even talk shit because like our podcast studio. No disrespect to the people that we work disrespect. with. All disrespect. Yeah. It's just it's garbage. It's like we have two seats. And that's it, pretty much. You don't have a neon and sign. And stuff, we, no. stuff no. we grab from, it, like trash from his house. Not trash. I just want a P.O. box. First of all, how dare you? That's a QAnon flag, okay? Uh, trust Not the trash. process. Not trash. That QAnon flag. <laughs> yeah, how long here. have you been running the podcast for? After every like, podcast, you know, this is you know. an insider, he folds the QAnon flag like the American flag. <laughs> and, I <kiss> it. <laughs> yeah, and then I kiss it. He I tries. give a little kiss. It. <laughs> well, I mean, look, all this shit is just, we went to Target 30 minutes before our first episode. I mean, it's awesome. Man. Are Where any you of you this? guys Italian? What? No. That's disgusting. <laughs> Maybe this at is, some this, point. You're literally doing pasta face. Just some guy. This was just some guy that made it for us. I don't even know. That's awesome. Just showed up. That some guy really put out. Okay, the... Yeah, I, we've got, I have we've to got say. a very something you'd probably like uh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Son. Is that matzo ball soup? This no. This is a, a picture from uh, Andrew Yang's Twitter. Uh, he oh. posted, it's a Chinese chicken soup, and he posted it and just oh. said chicken yeah. soup. Yeah, this yeah. is my favorite image, I think, on that the planet. That is so nasty. He just Yo, posted this photo was... with, the, with the caption chicken soup. It's a lot of chicken. He's very direct. It's a lot of chicken. If there was ever a time I was going to get political, it would be for this. Two, two, two spoons. Two. He needs two two spoons spoons? because there's a fat fucking piece of double hand in it. Oh yeah, that is the most disgusting thing I've seen. And Hassan, I actually want you to have this. Oh thank you. To to honor Andrew Yang's two failed uh, political campaigns. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite uh, person okay, in politics. N- now it's my, our, my it, gift. Oh, your gift? Um, it's our last day of the podcast, so now we can just start getting rid of shit. Start giving <laughs> them to the Taking apart guests. the set? You can have Oh, it. the lettuce this. photo! Oh, yeah. God, lettuce lady. That's you, awesome. Wow. You like the watermark this, that's still on that? Yeah, this brings in so there, many memories. Is there is there like a reason why you guys have just a casual lettuce lady? <laughs> I thought it would be funny if there yeah. was a picture of a woman eating lettuce. I actually just said to the intern, lettuce. Like as like on the list of like things to put in a frame. Right. And there's this very nice picture of a woman I'm eating gonna lettuce. I'm going to keep this. Many yeah. of the things in here come from the mind of Charlie, I would say. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I um, mean, it's it, the hot it, dog. The, do you like the ground beef up there, just kind of framed? That's good. I like that. Yeah, I, it, it is disrespectful how much Italian uh, stuff is up there, and not and that's why we brought you a few other guests. There. We brought you a few uh, other Hassan guests. Always, Go ahead and give him everything yeah. <laughs> from the set. Yeah, yeah. Hassan always trying to work this back to this podcast. No matter what podcast he's on, he's always he's trying to work it back to the politics. Of Italian rights are are being <clears throat> trampled on. Every they day. are currently, yeah, currently more than ever. Right here, more than ever. Wow. Well, I'm from New York. I, I, oh, I've lived mind. it. I've lived it. I can't say, you know, Schlatt is very German, but, you know. Wait, I, hold on. No, no, no. If you're from New York, you're Italian. It's, beep, beep. I am? Yeah, no, that's how it works. Guys, check this out. Beep, 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 beep. I just turned up Schlatt's New York accent meter. Oh, I'm from New York. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Would, okay. yep. You want to keep going on this fucking thing? See, yeah. he's it's Italian. Cool. Yeah. That's good. Tony. Hey, Tony. If you're from the tri-state uh, area, you can say that you're Italian. That's fair. Hmm. I think. That's fair. That means hmm. that I can say that I'm Irish because I'm from the Boston area. Yes. No, no, that's my theory. If you're from if you're from uh, Boston, like New England, that area, that region, yeah. you're Irish. Have it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at that. Have it, yeah. Uh, Hassan, what are some other theories you have? Oh, dude. I have so many <laughs> theories. Okay. Okay. 
I'll tell you guys. I mean, I don't know. You guys don't want me to get political, or do you mind? No, you can get. You if, can get, get if you okay. if you go no, that go way, ahead. I mean, there's nothing we can really do to stop. Okay, you. cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get started. So, I think I have a I have an idea called the Florida Project. Okay. Okay. So Donald Trump built all these uh, these miles and miles of wall, right, uh, on the U.S. Sorry, wait, border. Who's that? <laughs> he's the previous president. He's he's very cool. He's a poster. Okay. Um, so he built all this wall. I say we take all the wall, okay, and we amplify. We wall around Florida, and we amplify that wall. Like it's like four times of wall. You know what I mean? Like because U.S. Show a big, a big wall. Long. Are you trying yeah. like a sea wall? We're just making like the most like it's like one barrier, the then outside. second barrier, <laughs> then the third barrier. Like attack. Wall them in. We want to keep them. So, have you guys ever seen Attack on Titan? I have. Yeah. It's, it's like that, like multiple layers of wall, right? And then what we end up doing is we put every conservative in America in Florida. We extract everyone that doesn't want to live in Florida outside of Florida. Okay. Okay. We put every conservative in Florida. They can live their best libertarian lives. Wow. And then we routinely helicopter in and extract children because they don't need to be subjected to You're that You're going to take children from their parents. Yes. Yeah. It's, yes. They call it extraction for a reason. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You can't, I, I, you can't le actually leave Florida. <laughs> yeah. I use the politically kind term, mm. but you're using what it was normally. everybody kidnapped. knows detainment camps have an awesome history. Right. So you're gonna put Colorful these children funnies. in cages, <laughs> and then you're gonna and then you're gonna helicopter them out. No, 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 no. Um, Reeducation camps. Okay. Because like you know they they don't they kind of like be... an internship. <laughs> oh yes, oh, yeah, that's a word. Kind so of tell like us that. the spider story again. <laughs> <laughs> so there Boy. used to be this show on Machinima. Yeah. Uh, Machinima Respawn. Borif is our producer. Has been this whole week, uh, and he used to work on that show and. This was a spider on the show. Yeah. It always encased was not like at living back then. It's what always the been show? like this. It was a uh, machinima respawn inbox. He's which putting was, the lettuce in front of so you. That's so fucked up, man. Don't like... put the lettuce in front. Okay. So that's... basically, I don't know if you guys know Mr. Sark God. or C Nanners or Hutch. Yeah, there you go. No. APL, oh, I know no? Hutch. I know Hutch. Hutch. Yeah, Hutch is on Twitch now, but he used to be a Call of Duty commentator back in the day. Mm -hmm. And this channel was a bunch of those types, mm -hmm. and they just answered questions and one. One time they got a, this little spider, mm. and uh, I had a spider in college. Oh, you? Do, I don't. What care. kind of spider? What was its name? Wait, really? It was, it was a tarantula named Octoclops. You had a fucking you had awesome. A spider. Octoclops? Octoclops. Eight eyes. R they all did. Um, yeah. Well, that makes sense. I guess. Because uh, I liked He-Man. There's like Triclops. Yeah. It was like three eyes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you had a spider and you still got pussy. Yeah, and he was killed. He, he was, was killed by by. by by Eternity pussy. Brothers. Oh. No shot. I thought it was what? I thought it would be a funny prank to put him in like a box, with like a handle, and like gave the handle to my friend and he like opened it up and there was a spider inside. You just punched it? He <laughs> took the entire box <laughs> oh, and just fuck. like heaved it. That's horrible, man. And that was the end of poor do you, Octoclops. Did you feel bad about it? I felt really bad. Really? How long did I you have? So like, I bought Octoclops because I have arachnophobia <laughs> and I wanted to like do immersion therapy for yeah. my. So did I it work? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, we had okay. You're we, sitting right next towards to the, the end. Towards the end, we had a good mutual respect. Like I wouldn't. I, I like when I I'd like hold him and I'd be like, ah! but like we had a respect. Okay. You did this to yourself. Yeah. 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 This wasn't anyone, no one no. else was involved in this plan. Because no, I was like I very that. afraid of spiders, like mm -hmm. painfully afraid of spiders. I mean, spiders. clearly you're not that afraid. You're holding yeah, that up. It's right. Yeah. You're literally yeah. sitting yeah. next no, to one. I actually wanted to tell you, I, this is actually Octoclops. Shortly oh, after God. <laughs> shortly Octoclops, no! died, he was I, what did they do to my boy? I poured him into a nice resin mold. Yeah, he was rushed to him. the emergency yeah. room, and we said we couldn't save him. So, but, but I was I was him. really sad, and I kind of was like, why did why did I not think that this person would just heave this yeah. box? Well, at least he didn't like. Slap it or like punch yeah. it because, like, how much a, was it? Uh, the bad part though is he knew I had a pet spider, so like, after the initial oh. shock, he should have been like, Oh, but I think he was drunk enough that he just continued through oh. Oh, and, and killed off the clock. Oh, he kept slamming it. Well, it was what? just one, it was just I mean, one. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Tarantulas like, are actually that's way more fragile. Spider. 
then and people think like you can't drop them from like even this height. That's why without I mean, them a bitch breaking. ass biter. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, I mean, it's I feel like the bigger something is, the harder it is to like yeah. fall from if, heights. What do you mean you could drop a cat from that? Like you know, well that's a cat. That's a cat. Yeah, right? but like here's the that's thing: a cat. Anything, a cat. anything that you can successfully encase in resin and it'll just let you do it. That's a pussy ass animal. I'm. I'm this animal was dead it was when this dead. happened. When no. That. No, you, you were think, there. You I was. At, I inc- yeah. I actually encased this one. You yeah. think they Han Soloed this motherfucker? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they just <laughs> hauled it down yeah. and pour hot well, fucking gonna, resin on it. You're making it sound like a, a tarantula is like really strong for its size. You have to hold it down. <laughs> yeah. like multiple people are. are well, well, I mean, how else would you get it in such a nice pose? It, that's like, it's like a most, normal it pose dead, for a pose spider. That like, I don't understand. Yeah, that that what other pose would a tarantula have? They have. They have. You know, tools to. You know, they do taxidermy. I don't have shit. tools. You didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know? Because <laughs> you told us. Were you, were you, you told there? Us a completely you, different story. You told us you're... how it came to be. Uh, that is true. That is true. But the show that the spider octoclops was on, um, <laughs> I used to listen to all the time. I, I had all the episodes downloaded on my little iPod, and I'd take it into work at my deli. I'd sit in the freezer, and I'd, I'd stock shelves. I'd stock little yerba mates. And uh, Gatorades. That's why he was uh, stalking them, not selling them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, And I listened to that, and I made $5 an hour. Dude, someone should make Yerba Mate, which is a dating app exclusively for yoga people. That's Wait, really yeah. that's really good. Wait, you say like the that. dating app is for yoga people? Yeah. I would infiltrate that in a heartbeat. They would sniff you out so fast. No, I'd be like, dude. You can't touch your toes, you fat. They'd yes, be, I, no, they be. Yes, I can. I can. Prove it. I have an, Prove it. I have an incredible amount. Of, okay, well, there's, like, <laughs> there's so much going on here. Your knee is Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, what, what okay. do you mean, motherfucker? Uh, no, no, I'm for very For our audio pleased. listeners, love you to death. He did it. He touched yeah. his toes. Yeah, that's uh, true. While sitting, like in a seated position. That is. Is that, that easier, easier or harder? I don't that know. Makes it does easy. make it easier. Make it easier. No, I don't think so. I mean, you could, if you want to really prove yourself, you could stand up on right our dining but, seat. But no, I can't. I mean, I, I can't. feel like a lot of people would try and infiltrate Yerba Mate, mm-hmm. the yoga pot, the yoga dating app. Hassan has mm-hmm. infiltrated a, a myriad of dating apps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, I can't get him off J Date. He fucking lives <laughs> there. I love it, dude. No, I just I I only I only mess with Raya for the most part. Sometimes Christian Mingle, Bumble. he's a menace. Sometimes Bumble, and Raya is Raya, Raya's the, the Raya's the like the fancy oh look at yeah. me I'm a fucking yeah. celebrity yeah. dating. Yeah. Oh, um, what's that like? Pretty cool, for the most part I think. I mean it, it's just like straight. You see like a bunch of random celebrities on there, and you're like, wow, I am close in proximity enough to maybe. You know, go on a date with these people. It never happens, but wow, still feels good for a moment. <laughs> and you're swiping. <laughs> I flubbed. The, the, I flubbed the, a bunch. Who's the most famous person that you swiped with? He would never tell I w- you. I will never yeah. tell you. And no, well, you see that. You see those Twitter posts like people finding Jerry Trainer on Bumble, and like it's <laughs> who's just Jerry Trainer guy from Spencer, Spencer from, from iCarly. Yeah. I, okay. aren't, all, aren't all child stars from Disney and Nickelodeon going to jail for pedophilia right yeah. now? Uh, Kyle Massey is. Drake. And then uh, Drake, Corey, Corey, Corey in the house. Corey in the house. I have a story for Drake. Oh, that's his name? I don't know. <laughs> I hung out with him. You did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You did yeah. you get hey, those vibes? Um, he was definitely, like, uh, very sexual. He was a very oh. sexual person. But yeah, we were uh, we were at the if, Latin Grammys. If that is the number Latin one Grammys? descriptor yeah. for you, like you're doing sexual. something wrong. Yeah. He's like a uh, yeah. He he. We were at the Latin Grammys, and he was. He was doing influencing. He no no he he's actually I was very surprised to find out about this, but like he had like a like a robust career in Latin America as like a musician. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. And I mean, it wasn't like he wasn't popping off. I'm not saying he was like Jay Baldwin or something, but robust, he was robust, though, is a very specific yeah. word. I mean, it, surprisingly robust, let's say, because like you would not expect that. Okay. But then he had like music that he was playing. Wow. And people were listening. Yeah, we hung out. It was, I mean, it was not a great experience overall because it was like not a lot going on in Vegas at the time, but. We just like went to a bunch of different places, and uh, you know, people would come up and be like, "Oh my God, you're Drake and Josh!" Like, you're Drake. Who were you? Drake were you Drake or Josh? I, I was like, "Yeah, I'm Josh." Like, <laughs> yeah. like damn, dude, Josh <laughs> fucking blowed up. Yeah, Look at this. Right. Things changed dramatically for me. <laughs> like, it's pretty good. 
Not a big deal. Yeah. Damn. That story is not as entertaining as you thought it was going to be, I think. Well, well how was yeah, he I mean, sexual? Was, fun, well, was I don't he trying know. to make he out was like, He was like talking about like swinging and stuff. Oh, I okay. Saw <laughs> But like I didn't, he he wasn't like creeping on any young girls or anything. You know what I mean? Well, we were in Vegas though, so I don't know. <laughs> There's not a lot of young girls <laughs> yeah. in Vegas, so. Um, Hi, I'm Drake. You want to dock our penises together later? <laughs> I mean, he was. This is the Latin Grammys, baby. <laughs> That's my song. <laughs> the number one. Song I have a robust Vegas. career. <laughs> <laughs> I have a robust career in docking penises together. Um. Is that what they do in Vegas? In your Dog penises? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. All the time. Wow. All awesome. the time. Sounds yeah. incredibly painful. Have you Dog ever, penises, have you ever you done it? You need someone with foreskin to make it work. Yeah. We yeah. try. We're both we're both cut boys. We're yeah. both search oh, up. Um, so you Sorry, could never you could never dock your penis. Yeah. Oh, your no, you need a third I mean, party. You can, you can. You, can. you really can. Like, <laughs> third party. We need <laughs> someone to just encapsulate. That's the armada. <laughs> That's the armada. When you when you have like the, a, uh, there's a term. <laughs> there. so, yeah, so, so, armada. Two, two with one. Two into yeah, I don't know what you were hoping <laughs> yeah. for. I don't know either. It's like the international space station. You know what I mean? And then you have like two spaceships coming in. And then the ISS is just like sitting there in the middle, and you both stick your penises into that <laughs> one it, fat hog. Into the international with space like station. With like un uncircumcised fat hog. And then that's how you dock in the armada. I'm so sorry. This is a nightmare. I, I did, like I a fucking it. USB splitter, yeah. man. I yeah. made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. Listen, you just yeah. made that up. Someone's going to try it. Uh, probably has tried it already. Yeah. Um, that's definitely have you guys ever seen? Oh, dude, I, I, I'm sorry. But have you guys ever seen body modifications of like dudes who put like dents and stuff on their penises? Dents? Dents. dents. Yeah. <laughs> like hit them? <laughs> like a dent? <laughs> that is not that's what it's called. Bong. Bong. Like, modification. No. Body modification. Bong. Bong. Can, I, can I get a nipple thumb. ring and I want a dent and maybe a curve in my dick to ruin my life? <laughs> Just <laughs> hit me in the I fucking want, dick. I want my erect cock to look like an S. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to look like someone backed into it parking. <laughs> Dent isn't the right word. You're right. I'm sorry. I want it to, I I want it to look bumps. like the Superman it symbol like, so they feel hope. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it looks like uh, you have like some severe case of like some kind of SDI or SED or whatever. And why would yeah, people want they're that? They're subcutaneous implants. It I feels believe. good, Ted. That's why people want them. It why feels good. Why did you start good. talking to me why, like you've been into this why does, world? Why did both of them know this? Like, dents feel good. No, yeah. he doesn't know what he's talking about. Chad doesn't know <laughs> what he's talking not about. Bumps. Dude, bumps, ladies, like ladies bumps? see a dented penis and they get crazy. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's ribbed for her pleasure. That's right. Yeah. Like yeah. A, Forever. It's Forever. so yeah. psychotic. Okay, so I've just been picturing like a Tetris piece. Like, of, like, <laughs> <No>. very... <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Have you ever seen that, I think they're... No, it's scared of you seen like when people get lady? horns? Yeah, oh, when people get shit. like horns. I know yeah. what you're talking about now. They get yeah. like dick horns. Yeah, gotcha. and they put those horns basically on your cock. So it's not crazy. a so not a dented not a dented penis. No, not dented. I was a wrong. Horn. What a fucking bummer, man. Yeah. Bumpy. Yeah. Bumpy. Okay. Yeah, bumpy yeah. with anything. It's like a little wow. speed bump. Yeah. 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 You you could it, almost like park yourself in you, there. You got it right when you say ribbed for her pleasure. Yeah. Like yeah. that is a, precisely what it is. Oh what does goodness. that look like when you're soft? Where do they get the skin from? I have no idea. I've yeah. never seen one soft. Ooh. I've only seen videos uh, because who was it? There was like some Twitter comedian dude who was just like posted all the time. That's always amazing to me. a picture of his cock. Weird, no, weird, yeah, him. I was going to say weird just bit. Like he, found it, he found it on the internet. You know what's amazing to me? Is your significant <laughs> other, like at what point did they see your flaccid penis for the first time? Because most of the time you're dating someone, they don't just see a flaccid penis, right? What? Why what? would they see a flaccid penis mm -hmm. when you're I naked? Your you're, heart, like, yeah. I mean, when you're done hooking up and you're laying in bed and you're naked, are they looking though? I'm sure they see not, it. Yeah, like not looking. I guess. What I, are you talking about, Will? I'm just saying. <laughs> you come on our podcast and you start talking to us about, oh man, what's the first time that you someone saw? Will, your are you scared of flaccid penis? No, I'm just saying. I feel like that's a milestone in a relationship. What if you get a body mod where they just put a stick in it so that it's just always hard? hard. Always like hard. hard. Well, I'm what, scared what to not be hard. That's what I'm hearing right just now. Like fully a tree, like, a it just looks trash. <laughs> just like a tree stick. You just put it in. Oh, my God. Without worst. any blood flow, though, that would be devastating. It's, it's just like... 
It's just I feel like that would not. It would be look good. like the sleeve of a scarecrow. Real flesh with metal <laughs> yeah. endoskeleton. Yeah, living flesh over metal endoskeleton. Back to biocock. Why man. would we you always come back that? to fucking biocock? So your girlfriend never sees <laughs> your, <laughs> your flesh. What, what, what do you do? I, I do you just, just run? I can do you just, just run? <laughs> it's like a bad infomercial. It's like, has this happened to you? <laughs> Someone sees your flaccid penis and run away. Never again. <laughs> yeah. With the always hard cock implant. Yeah. Living Extendo flesh cock. over metal oh. endoskeleton. You guys ever seen Sky Terminator Man. 2? Yeah, Skynet. Oh, I have not. What okay, a good any, any cultural like piece of pop culture, I've he seen. will not know. I will not know. Will not. You will not know? What? Yeah, no. he got mad at me when I uh, didn't know about the Mighty Ducks or something. Was no, no. That's like the hockey No, we were talking about greatest sports moment in history and i was like yeah miracle on ice and he's like what the fuck is miracle that's on the ice? that's the American do you believe in Russian? miracle yeah do you believe miracles yes and he's like i don't, I don't know what you're talking about and he's like is I that, still mighty, think it's the is that what mighty ducks is based on but, well like, no isn't that isn't that also like really have some sort of like cold war aspect in it oh for that sure you'd expect that mr politics would know about yeah it. Big cold war. Oh, good point. You yeah. suck. Yeah. It's yeah. capitalism versus communism on ice. Oh, yeah. that's why he doesn't acknowledge it because yeah. the yeah, commies got the, smashed oh, no. by a little yeah. good old fashioned American <laughs> muscle baby. I just, yeah. I, I mean, I guess it was a big deal here in America. Yeah. You know, I just uh, had no idea what was going on. You'd like T2. Not everyone can have NT1. The puck. Uh, both movies give you a great view of Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Uh, it's, fl it's flaccid Taint. though, so you might be yeah, kind of scared. Yes. There's a bunch of scenes Dong? where he's just naked. Yeah. Well, he spawns in naked. Yeah. Oh. I think yeah. T1 and T2 are maybe my favorite, like, you know, beginning of a franchise, sequel in a franchise, because they're such How different awesome films. This, mm. Like a lot of sequels, it always just feels like the product goes down, but T2 was like such a twist. Oh, T2 was on the so original. Why are you guys over there? Is well, because Charge. <laughs> <laughs> You've been meeting my eyes. You've well, been coming I'm, to me. I'm, I'm wondering if you want to ask the question to them. I had, I mean, I had a question. What question do you think the, I was going to ask? Holy quest. fucking shit. We forgot to ask the question. We've been doing the podcast. Every time for a while. on Chuckle Sandwich, what we do yeah. is we establish, you know, it's a sandwich. We're chuckling, all sure. that shit. Um, we each are a different part in the sandwich. Ted is the butt loaves of bread. Schlatt is the mayo. From the end of the loaf. Um, I'm the meat. Um, <sighs> I mean, what, what would you two guys be? You've I'm got a speak choice. for him. Oh, whoa. This is a never before seen thing. This hasn't happened, happened before. Okay, yeah. Cut in, cut in. Yes. Cut in. Yes. And he's going to agree with this 100%. Mm -hmm. He is the bag of chips on the side yes. that you break and you crumple into the sandwich like this. Oh, Ooh. I kind of like that, actually. Uh, I put chips on every sandwich, and my superpower is knowing what chips to pair with what a sandwich. A chip sommelier. Yes. Okay. Wow. This is something okay. that I've been asked about. People will be like, Will. I'm about to have a Cuban Cubano sandwich. Yeah. What chips? And I'm like pickle brine kettle. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, like, so if I were to give you some sandwiches right I now, I disagree with you, this one, by the way. I you know, you're wrong. Well, before we <laughs> before we move on and ask Hassan's sure. piece, yeah. can I just yes, quiz please. you on some sandwiches? That's, Great. That's exciting. BLT. Ooh, BLT. I might go with a traditional ruffles, sour cream, and cheddar. That's a good chip. Yeah, I agree. Good wow, chip. wow. Okay. Yeah. I agree with that assessment. Yeah. All right, the Cubano. Oh. I think you got to go with like you, you're leaning too far into the dill because there's a pickle in there. Are you, wow. also, are you also the bag of chips? That's, on the side, that's incredible, please? Hassan, because it's almost like we weren't asking you at all. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I, just, I, just, I just walk away. I'm um, sorry. It's Will's time. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Tell them about uh, Ruben. the wrong uh, uh, placement of chips. Uh, see, a Reuben is a tough one because the kraut. Is the high note, mm -hmm. right? That, that kraut, that top note. Um, we like yum, the yum, driving yum, up yum, those yum, top layers. We crowded up. Okay. <sighs> Give me a moment. Okay. Let me get the flavor. Find it. Now. Find your center. Okay. Yep. Yes, we, I'm tasting the kraut. Your oh, chip chakras. chakra. Okay. Find now, it. where do I? Now, where's my mouth going? Oh. Oh, I know where it's going. It's going for something a little bit more subdued. Oh. That might be a salt and pepper. Wow. Chip right okay. There. Mm. Just now, let it, mm. let it. A nice filler. Yeah, yeah. A nice filler, because you don't want to compete with that flavor. Now I've got Try a really challenging up. one here for you. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. And I, I don't know if you're gonna get it. Sure. Peanut butter and jelly. PB and J. There is only one chip that is acceptable, and it's and it's because it's it's a legacy chip that is plain Lay's, and it's because it's the chip that comes to your mind in the brown bag lunch that your mom packed you. Traditional Lay's PB and J. It's just, it's just what's done. Wow, this is awesome. This is when did you, when did you discover you had this talent? Because I put chips on every sandwich. Like, I, if you eat with me, any like sandwich is my favorite food in the world. Yeah. Anytime I like, I will not eat. A You're in the right place. Chips, wow. Man. So, so like a lot of people tease me because I will put chips on other food, 
So it mm, became mm-hmm. like a thing. So okay. if we were to say a yes. sandwich along the lines of, let, I'm going to give you three sandwich names and I need you to <laughs> tell me what you would put. And they're not necessarily real. Real sandwiches. Okay. All right. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <clears throat> Schmeetwich Sh- Deluxe. A Schmeetwich <laughs> Deluxe? Yeah. Schmeetwich yeah. Deluxe. I would go with a Zaps Voodoo. Oh. What's that? What Zaps the hell is, Voodoo that's not is, real. Zaps, Zaps is like, Voodoo is like a mixing of almost all their different flavors. It's got like a, it's called Voodoo Heat. It's a good chip. It's okay. a solid chip. Mm. For heavy meat, I like a little, I like a little picante to throw in there. Okay. okay. Nice. Uh, yeah. Knee Breaker Burger. The Knee Breaker Burger. Mm-hmm. Oof. Do you put chips on burgers? Oh, yeah. You put fries at least. And I would yeah. go, mm-hmm. I, for that one, I go with my most popular chip. That's got to be a jalapeno kettle. Wow. I love a jalapeno yeah. kettle, kettle on a burger. Wow. That's smart. Wow. Yeah, that's, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then finally, finally. Okay. the slimy slider. Good fucking luck. Slimy slider? Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, I've got this one. Slime, you need consistency. You need something that's going to grab up all that, all that drip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's when you go with a Fritos chip. And the Frito scoop, oh, because the Frito it's the most. Yeah, it, that's the most surface area per chip right there. That is a dense chip. You don't think like a. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> you don't think like a like a ketchup uh, chip, like a Canadian a ketchup, ketchup, ketchup? ketchup? <laughs> you guys have never ketchup heard about chip? this. You don't have the gift, Hassan. No, I'm you have you the- haven't been blessed by the gods. <laughs> I don't know why he's saying this. I'm a fat kid as well. Have better fat cre- uh, fat credentials than you do, but. Um, oh, so now we're talking about fat credentials. Yeah, I mean, what does that 100%. even mean? I'm gatekeeping. I'm gatekeeping <laughs> yeah. right now. Okay. I'm literally I'm, with ke- I'm a girl with boss. ketchup. Ketchup. I'm a girl trips. boss. I'm gaslighting. Yeah. And I'm gatekeeping. You're doing a lot. We, we, we do like gas, we do like gaslighting here on the podcast. <laughs> I feel this like is the, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the Cubano argument that you made, where you lean into the dill, yes, could absolutely be recreated with the. What is a Cubano without a pickle? It's just. A sandwich with uh, pulled pork and, and that's why you lean into it. But the pickle is in the Cubano. Wow! But the pickle is already in the Cubano. He's Cubana. just holding what that pose. Saying? Too. Saying right <laughs> I holding think nothing. the the jalapeno chip that he referenced earlier is a better fit for the Cubano. I will die on this hill. Interesting. Wow! I wouldn't want to contaminate the spicy mustard that's already on the Cubano Ooh, with another spice. Oh, so there's already he spice. Is, on oh my god! There's also already uh, Hassan, there's also so many pickle. good reasons. Hassan, so you're, you're literally be taken to town. He is in the pose once again. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. There is already pickle in the sandwich, and the pickle is a has an overpowering aura. We're gonna do twenty minutes. <laughs> on <laughs> on <laughs> no, but this, this is, is good. You guys are passionate. Week. So it sounds like you were just sort of anti-pickle. No, I love pickles. Really? I'm a huge fan of pickles. What's your favorite type of pickle then? Hmm, that's a really good question. I would probably, I mean, are we looking for versatility or are we looking for- So like, when does anyone do go love? to the store looking for a pickle and say, I'm looking for a versatile pickle? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm okay. looking for a robust pickle. I'm looking for a pickle okay, okay. that I can open my car with. No, no, no. When versatility is <laughs> in like, it works- uh, on its own, it works in a sandwich, or are we just like talking about- It works about- for itself, it raises the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pickle-wise, this is a very serious subject for me. I love okay, pickles. Okay, it sounds You've serious. entered the pickle zone. It sounds like you really know okay. what you're talking about, too. Um, the the uh, yellow pepper pickles, I think, are my favorite. They're okay. very spicy. Wow. Not the banana ones. I do not like the banana pepper pickles. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you good? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the kind of reaction I have to banana pepper pickles, but- but I would say that uh, the hot peppers are probably the best. Hot like pepper pickle. pickle. Oh, you're a hot wow. p- hot pickle kind of guy. Yeah. Okay. I, I like, like my <laughs> I like my Klaus and dr- dills. Mm. That's a good pickle. They're classic. Pretty good solid. Pickle. Some pickles they're too sweet. I don't like that. Oh, bread I like and butter throw them is away. the worst pickle in the world. I don't know why people enjoy bread, sweet a, pickles. That's it just a kind seems of pickle. Indecent. Bread and butter. Yeah, bread and butter. It's really yeah. vinegary. It's very very Ew. acidic. It's not. It's it like it burns your throat. It's like so. <laughs> that's a, that's a gas station pickle right it there. It really man. is. Gas station pickles are good. <laughs> Can be good. Just saying. I don't know. I mean, you take is, your life in your hand every you ever, time you get a gas station pickle. Yeah. Have you ever been to the like the farmers market at the Grove before? Oh yeah. In LA, have you been to the pickle stand there? Yeah. No. They have a really good type of pickle. Honey like, mustard honey pickle. Honey mustard pickles. Oh my yeah. god. Lock so, it down. What's wonderful what's going about on these right pickles now? is that they're like basically soaking in like this honey mustard yeah, sauce. It's so good. And, w- and what they go incredible on is if you make yourself a very nice pulled pork sandwich. Oh. And put the honey mustard. Are you pickles okay? This is important. 
I spent some time in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Are you a vinegar base? Oh wow, pulled pork guy. We're going there. Or are you a barbecue you base? Mm. Right no, bar- <laughs> what, what's the base for barbecue though? Like, I don't know. It, I, it, I, it depends I really on where you like are. My barbecue though is the thing. So, so different you areas. Like barbecue? No, I really like my barbecue. Oh. But different areas have different like barbecue flavors, right? So like, North Carolina is all about vinegar barbecue. South I'm probably, Carolina, I'm South probably Carolina like closer to a Texas a barbecue kind of guy. Okay, so I got really big into vinegar barbecue. Really? Well, when what I is was that in into, Like, what is it? Just vinegar? So, like North Carolina barbecue sauce, North North Carolina is like yellow. It's called Carolina oh. Gold, oh, and yeah. it's like very mm. vinegary. Oh, I no, know what that, you're talking no, about. No, that is a, that is a very good. Yeah, I've had Carolina Gold. Like, yeah, yeah. Isn't no, that, I've had isn't that mustard based though. Ooh, I that think that's good. not vinegar. It's mustard based. But but they put vinegar on the sandwich. Yeah, yeah, too, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. no, it, that is a good type. Okay, now I'm. I'm stuck now. Texas, <laughs> Texas, all the way. I Texas think is really, really yeah. good. Yeah, and yeah, I've had some of the best barbecue in my life in Texas. Texas, yeah. yeah, here's in what I'll, here's what I'll give Texas. And there are some there are some challengers to the throne, but their brisket is the best. Brisket. Texas yep. brisket mm. is that's a son of a bitch mm. right there. Oh yeah. yeah. What up, Chucklers? If you hate reading emails, homework, PDFs, news articles, or really anything on the web, then you need today's sponsor, which is Speechify. Speechify is a Chrome extension that allows you to listen to the things that you'd normally be reading on the web. Let's face it, ladies and germs, reading is hard, but listening, hmm? Pretty easy. Have your papers, documents, and emails read out to you in world-class voices. Listening is faster, more accurate, and you can multitask while reading. It has a multi-platform sync, so you can start listening on Chrome, and then you can switch to your phone, and in one click, it'll switch it over, and you can choose over 30 different voices and languages. I tested out Speechify by listening to a New York Times article, and I was able to get work done at the same time. It was a magical experience, and I would recommend it. At the end of the day, reading is hard. Listen Listening is easy. You can get Speechify at ncard.co slash chuckle. If you're watching on YouTube, just click the link in the description. Our other sponsor for today's episode of Chuckle Sandwich is our friends at Babbel. You guys know the drill. When you're traveling to a destination that you don't know the language, it can be challenging to accomplish even the simplest of tasks. We know this story. I was going to Spain and I was trying to order myself a nice cool cup of gazpacho. All right, gazpacho. And I couldn't because I didn't know the language. All right, thankfully, there's Babbel, the number one language learning app. Through Babbel's bite-sized lessons, you'll learn new language skills that you can actually use in the real world, like a human being, can you believe it? From greetings, menus, and directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture, Babbel is a travel essential. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use stinky, dumb AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language learning experts. You can choose from 14 different languages. We're talking Spanish. We're talking French. We're talking Italian. We're talking German. Ich bin ein Mann. Come on, dude. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months just for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code CHUCKLE. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com using promo code CHUCKLE. Now let's get back to the episode. Line up your uh, favorite meats for barbecue. Ooh. Rank them. Jesus. I think brisket's number one for me. A good beef rib done right. Yeah, I have to go like brisket ribs. Then when like when they like can twist the bones. Yeah, after, after and it just, two, like, <laughs> yeah, and it exactly, just slurp right out exactly of there. exactly what you're yeah. talking about right now. Brisket, brisket, <laughs> brisket rib, uh, probably pulled pork, then like the chicken, and then the sausage. The fuck the chicken. Yeah, fuck, fuck chicken. I mean, you a good, a well made, ch- like you can. It, there's a certain level where like making chicken and then it plateaus, but then there's this all of a sudden the so barbecue cute. makers of the world they just sort of elevate it and it takes it to this new level where you can make chicken that you nah. have you nah. okay. But I'm speaking of chicken, chicken I was telling Schlatt and Charlie about lemon pepper wings. Oh I've my never god, had it yeah. Before. Nope, you've never had lemon. We never still, had we lemon actually still have it. That way. might, I don't think I've ever had that might be a racism for you. What? Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Yeah, it accidental be, racism. It happens. I, okay. Wait, I'm I'm actually really surprised you've never had lemon and pepper wings. They have I've really had good ones, and on um, you know that spot on Melrose that has really good. I ones? I have not had many lemon pepper wings in California. I had a lot when I was in NC. 
I'm, yeah, no, I'm, that, they probably have them really good there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So lemon pepper is like an interesting flavor because it's not a wet wing. It's like yeah, it's, it's dry, almost like a drier yeah. wing. Oh, I don't like a dry that. rub kind of. But it's, I yet. like wet wings. Let, now listen yet. to them first before you, you start dogging on it. But the, the lemon makes it very juicy. It's a very juicy wing still. Very juicy. Yeah. It's just on the inside. It's got some juice. I'm a dude. I'm a I'm a buffalo boy all the way. I mean, it's basic, but <laughs> no, it's a good job wing. done. Yeah, like wait, well wait. Important question: Buffalo with ranch or blue cheese? Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Thank God. Okay, yeah. I really I was gonna leave the podcast. So, as originally New Jersey boys, Gosh. best sandwich. both of you. Yeah. Uh oh. What did you oh, say? Oh, what? Best, uh -oh. My oh, favorite fuck. sandwich. Pound for pound. Well, I don't know why he said I'm from New Jersey. I don't. I don't. You're claim not from that. New Jersey. I don't claim that. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. I grew up in Istanbul. I oh. am originally from New York. We why both. did he? Say, <laughs> why did because he say well, that? I went to Rutgers. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, Spent I was born. Oh, so did my grandma. Yeah, right. too. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah. Literally. Cool. Not really. Rutgers is terrible. <laughs> Maybe it was better. <laughs> Maybe it was better back then. Alma <laughs> yeah. um, uh, mater, Hassan yeah. Piker says <laughs> Rutgers is terrible. I mean, it's, it's whatever. It was like all right. This just in: Hassan Piker hates my dead grandma. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what part of the sandwich are you though? I don't think you answered that. No, he didn't. Oh, oh. What part of the sandwich am I? Um, I was so caught up with the chip thing that I uh, forgot what I would do. I swear in the to sandwich. God, if he says pickle. I take those fucking things well, I off. I felt like he might be close Every to saying a pickle. Yeah, just, that's why. We talked about pickles I don't think there's something like wrong minutes. with a pickle, No, no. He, okay. Fuck, were you there's pregnant? There's an explanation there. Were you got a he baby was, in your goddamn he, pussy? So he was ordering... <laughs> he, what? You know, he you was into pickles? You just start eating pickles? Every time hey, those shits hey. are on my sandwich, I take them off. Hey, I, you fuck are lettuce big anti-pickle, hey, Fuck lettuce, too. I don't want lettuce. What? I don't want tomato. I get plain... You're scary, Plain cheese sauce. Three things you need... Okay. okay. Before okay. he gets mad again, quick. Okay. What are you He's on the sandwich? <laughs> Listen, I, I will I don't give him. Sedate him. Sedate him. Sedate him. I was say pickle, but I don't want to say it anymore. That's what's it. I just sedated him. Oh, okay. Um, Take him down the So when we were ordering food the other day, and we were getting it from what was it? Something hot chicken. You, Dave's, hot chicken. Dave's, Ooh, Dave's hot chicken. Dave's hot good. chicken. So good. Schlatt says to the very uh, nice assistant of my manager, Tara. He was like, <laughs> he was like. And I want a chicken sandwich, and if there's a pickle on there, like, I'm going to scream. I'm taking something. that shit off. Yeah. I'm taking that shit off. He's yeah, crying. no. He's, there's a real tears. I'm taking yeah. that shit off. Yeah, he's gotten really good see, at doing it. I he see just pickles. chooses, like, a, a who, small thing slap, that makes slap, him slap, sad who hurt you? in his childhood. And then he makes <laughs> yeah. Who, who, and don't say pickles. Listen, I'll tell you. Tommy Pickles. It happened. It all started <laughs> in 2008. <laughs> okay. Right? This guy came into office, and he really just shook things up for me and uh oh, my life was never the same <laughs> we go is that the end of the story or is there more to sounds it? like there's gonna be more but um he's taking a while no, i think doing a little bit of a changing dramatic. the conversation he's, he's going yeah he's no that's not that that's it that's okay. it yeah okay so, 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 yeah. 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 Right what part of so, so no one did anyone claim cheese yet or did i, did I, did uh, I miss uh, you can be wait, a cheese have we ever had a guest say cheese no. Holy fucking shit! What? Are you guys being sarcastic? No, I'm not. I don't think. Uh, no, I think. I mean, I'm sure someone maybe, said a cheese. I don't someone, think anyone said someone, a cheese. I think someone said a block of cheese at one point. Remember that? Yeah, but why that's would bullshit. no one? Why would no one want to be cheese? Like it's a it's a great well. Part of the sandwich. Well, what type? Do you want to be cheese? Uh, I do want to be cheese. Yes. But like what cheese? I would like to be cheese. Uh, sharp happy. American cheddar, the best. American okay. cheddar. Yeah, I the respect best? that. I think that you I think, think American cheddar is the best. What about Absolutely. and I proudly stand up yeah. next to you, Wisconsin, all the way. What about potentially an Irish cheddar such I'm a, as Dubliner? I'm a Cabot guy. Uh, I like Irish before? cheddar. I I think that sharp, like the orange sharp cheddar, mm. is, is oh, the peak. Boar's like, head. Now, if Real you're good. ever in Wisconsin right. again. I've I'm going to suggest to you a specific place. I've never you, been. If you're ever driving through. I will never go there. If you're ever just somehow <laughs> are kidnapped and, and taken there. And stand up. Uh, go ahead. I'm gonna and say, after this, you find yourself in Wisconsin. Um, I'm forgetting the name of the place. Not going to happen anyway. Don't worry about, about it. Culver's? Uh, no, I'm not talking about he, Culver's. Hassan will never be Listen, Hassan, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. If he someone just it. happened to come by your house and just... Chloroform you, Knock you and then all of a sudden you no, wake up. No, it'll happen. He's going to go to some wedding in the next decade that he doesn't want to be at. No, no, no. It's going to be for, for politics, most likely. Humbird's like Cheese in Toma, Wisconsin mm -hmm. is a very, very wow. good wow. cheese place. 
big fan. Wait, so what how does the cheese place work? Is it, are they doing like fondues and well, like a they, whole bunch they of stuff? Well, they basically have all of these cheeses laid out, and they're all wrapped in wax. And they've got Ooh. different years to them. You got the three Love year that. cheddar. You got the That's six cool. year cheddar. You got the nine year cheddar. You got the twelve year cheddar. You got the, even the sixteen year cheddar. Love that. Um, Do you guys want and, a little piece of internet history regarding the cheese? Sure. The first video we ever did together really? was a BuzzFeed video called Will It Fondue. You guys were on BuzzFeed? Who I was, was I was at BuzzFeed. I brought him in as a talent where I basically took different foods and saw if they would mesh with cheese. And I had mm. like oh, that's awesome. I had like Oreos, sushi, all sorts of different stuff. He was paired with Safia, who's a, a really great creator, uh, amazing YouTuber. And he kept stealing her food. Because so, so. she'd take like a bite and he would like finish it. <laughs> she didn't I want to eat it, so I was and like, give it to me, coward. At one point we had cheeseburgers. My man ate like four cheeseburgers. And right. if you go back and look at the footage, he starts sweating. <laughs> he gets the cheese sweat. He gets the meat sweat. And well, it was one of the funniest videos. BuzzFeed is like a content slave farm, so yeah. they didn't have the AC <laughs> yeah. on. And the, the bright lights are like hitting my fucking forehead. Yeah. And I got this like bowler hat on. I don't know why I thought that was cool. What a whack move. Anyway. A bowler hat? Like from the like 1920 yeah, kind like, of hat? Like, like a newsie. Blinders, like that kind of fucking hat. Like like the one like you're, you're delivering Peaky you're delivering that's a newsy newspaper. Hat. A bowler hat is like a like a so circle all the way around. Like a circle top hat and then yeah. like wow. a, a curved yeah, top. Yeah. Wow, that was a that, different time. What year was this? That was like five years ago. Really? It was no no. It was like 2014 or 15. Wow. When did it all start Jesus going soon. downhill then? Um, Pretty soon after that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. Life has never been the same. What was something that surprised you how good it was? I know I could just watch the video, but Dude, I want to know. Dude, the Oreos in fondue cheese actually Really? Slap. That sounds pretty good. Bang. I mean, this is unsurprising. As a witness, but as a witness can you confirm this? Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, most things- A cheeseburger cheese in molten cheese? <laughs> so good. Very good. Yeah. I mean, that's not surprising. Like, you would <laughs> no, expect no. that. Well, fondue cheese, is, a, is it, was it fondue cheese? Like, was it like that sort yeah. of like yeah. very, very sure? Yeah. There's a very specific it's taste better. Yeah. It's almost cheese. better. I yeah. think it's like, is it like Gouda or Emmental or something? We did it right, is all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> We didn't fuck it up. <laughs> and, we we always, fact and we always yeah. do. Yeah. You guys, yeah, get some the comments. Some porn intern that get I was screaming comments. at, yeah. Yeah. So that was like the weird thing. He's, at he's trying to make it seem cool. He was the intern. No, I was the intern. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the like the interesting thing was BuzzFeed at the time, when he says like it was a slave factory, it was a slave factory. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah, and, you got the BuzzFeed blue, you yeah. got the BuzzFeed yeah. red and, and green and yellow. Thankfully, like I'm beyond my whatever thing you sign that you can't talk about it, but yeah, yeah. yeah, But uh, so it was an internship, but it was competitive and they would make you stay like easily. I was working 13 hours a day to get everything done, but they would only pay you for the the original work day. And then if you ever like recorded overtime, they'd be like, "Mm, mm." Oh, like you won't. Oh, it's one of those. This is a competitive internship. Here's the story that I will tell. Because it was hype, though. It's like his entire, yeah, like his entire internship program was like literally Harvard, Yale, Stanford, and then like Will also has like a master's degree and and in film and uh, literally graduated from like every single comedy school. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 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 this is the this is like a great story of like how insane it got, and this is like deep deep annals of BuzzFeed. Mm So we were doing all these videos and like the the meta for us became like white people try, you know, lemon pepper wings for the first time. <laughs> and, and uh you can do that on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And it it, it like kept ramping up and I became kind of like BuzzFeed Stevo, right? So like I remember at one point they were like, "Will, will you pierce your dick for a video and I was what like ah. oh. but so I made it past the internship phase he's and making it seem like this did not happen he did, did you dazzle pier- his dick you I, I oh your you dick? did it no but I got my my cock waxed at one point and then vajazzled and this was like all <laughs> because you <laughs> felt the pressure Yo, the same day I did this video I was in a violent car accident Oh, okay. I got in a car oh accident. I came into the office that it was, and got it was, it was like my interview day, and I, my head still was like pinged off the dashboard. And I was like, Your penis I think is that I should be. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I think I should be hired full time at BuzzFeed. And they were like, Why are you sweating so much? And I was like, I was just in an accident, but I was like, So I was like, This is my break. Um, and so right afterward, they were like, you're still doing the vajazzling video. And I was like, I was just in a car accident. They're like, they need you. So I went and did this. Jesus Christ. And oh I, so God. I was the only How guy. How bad was the car accident? Uh, I, I have to determine whether or I not like I... crush the front end of my car. How Holy bad shit. was the vajazzling? The vaj- so the vajazzling is really funny. Well, I'm d- d- like derailing for my first story, but the vajazzling was really funny because they were like, I was the only guy, 
And they were like, yeah, there'll be like a barrier to cover your nudity. Wrong, wrong. Cameraman was a woman. Sound person was a woman. Director was a woman. Technician was a woman. The owner of the waxing studio decided she wanted to be in there too. Hmm. And, and also a, was a woman. Yeah. And we were in a, a room the size of like this table and these seats. Everyone. So like eight oh. women and me fully nude getting my asshole Brazilian. And after the first wax, the woman goes, whoosh, and she rips it and she goes, okay, we got a little blood. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. So my flaccid cock is just bleeding in front of a... W anyway. And that's the reason why he talks about when is the first time your significant other saw your flaccid There you cock? go. That's the trauma Ooh. I carry. But uh, <laughs> uh, so, the story, so the story that is crazy, though, is once I made it past like the internship phase of this, there was a video that went around and they were like, we're going to have people drink their own urine because people do this, right? And that's true. There are like yogis and shit who drink their own urine. Okay. They shoot this video and as it's going through approvals, I notice every person in the video is an intern. No one who works at BuzzFeed did it because none of us wanted to drink our own piss. So I sent an email or someone sent an email that was like, hey, these are all interns. Should we pull this? And there was this moment where BuzzFeed locked up and they were like, we made our competitive interns drink their own piss as a part of this process. And like after that, you weren't allowed to use interns in, in your videos. It was not my video, but it was like this epiphany for BuzzFeed where they're like, Holy this shit, process this is so good. class action. Th 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 <laughs> like this <laughs> process was, is so right? competitive that our interns were willing to run up and drink their own pee. Yeah. Great stuff, Holy BuzzFeed. Shit. That's and why so everyone is, leaves BuzzFeed. Well, BuzzFeed, you had like the try BuzzFeed's guys over at this point. Yeah, really? but they, they also yeah, like yeah. they also kind of like, I mean, they don't fire, but they just like don't elevate you yeah. for a while. So that's right. why people leave. Right. And they see that and good entry when point into the end. I, I went in, lasted for a while. When I got let go, I went into a room thinking I was getting promoted, and I was told, "We don't think you're a very good producer." Even though I was like at the time, they're probably best Facebook producer. So you went all the way from from an intern to a producer. Well, I was. I you drank a lot of piss. Yeah, I was going to say. So <laughs> many. A lot of. So how, much, how many gallons leaders. of piss do you think you drank at Buzz? So many. But I went into this meeting thinking I was getting promoted, and they were like, we're firing you. And Jesus, that, was, that sucks. Wow. That was They're it. And now I'm bigger on Twitch than they are. Fuck you, BuzzFeed Gaming. Yeah. They don't look at me now, baby. Their, um, their approvals process is uh, devastating, too, because this was like the peak of. Like, I'm a progressive. I'm going to qualify that for those of you who don't know. I'm very progressive, maybe too leftist uh, in comparison to most people. But their approvals process was at the peak of, like, the the Obama era, the Obama years. So, like, everyone was like, I'm going to be as rad lib as I can. Like, we're going to do, like, 11 videos on manspreading and mansplaining. <laughs> yeah. So... So that was like also when, the peak of the time when, like, you've got, like, also the... The Nazi the, side of things, too. Yeah, Like, on sure. the other side, where mm -hmm. there was, like, you know, anyway. The alt-right! Oh, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Sorry. Well, I was going to say, like, uh, that sounds like the same time that, like, H3 was making his videos on, like, BuzzFeed shit, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um, so when we shot a video uh, together, I, like, started this video, like, when you're a guy... Ha like, what was it? ADHD? Oh, my God. When you're a guy with ADHD, yeah, and so I, so I was. This is my desperate attempt to like actually be comedic at BuzzFeed, mm -hmm. and I had all these comedic beats. You can't joke about ADHD. Well. You can't joke about ADHD. Well, Can that you was not? that was kind of like their their thing. They're like, this doesn't feel inclusive enough. What about <laughs> everything they, else? They, they literally they gave me a beat. They're like, what about ADHD women? And I was like, well, I don't know the experience of being an ADHD woman because I'm not one. I could try, but anyway, <laughs> in the video. He was dating a young woman who wanted to be in one of the videos. She mentioned this to me, and I had her in a few beats, but one of the beats was... Me looking when, at her tits. Well, let me qualify. The beat was when, when you're ADHD, you have to extra compensate to not look at cleavage. So in the beat, he's actually not <laughs> looking at her cleavage. He's like looking into space well, because she has this very low cut top. Okay, but there's and, an entire shot of just her titties. There was a shot of her titties, okay? That's she was so something that you directed she in, had nice and, and you set yeah, up the shot. Anyway, this beat was, it was not meant to be anything like, like crazy or, or like overly, you know, whatever. You would have thought that I had like full frontal nudity in this thing. The way that the approvals came back to me, they were like, we think this beat is sexist. We think it's like mm. exploitative. And I was just like, oh my God, dude. They also had to like over qualify by saying when you're a guy with ADHD because like originally it was like 
this is what happens when you have ADHD. Yeah. And then they were like, that's unacceptable. This is a guy's perspective on ADHD. So they were yeah, like, they like literally it's just like, it. they gutted And then it. they were also like, you need positive beats. You need beats that build up ADHD. So I had to add like extra beats where like, at least you're never bored. <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, that's annoying that yeah. they make yeah. you do that wow. shit. Um, did it go through? Did did it eventually, eventually get but I think it's probably there. part of the reason I got fired is because I had a, a beat with Cleveland. Because you're which is interesting. Which is interesting because they had no problem putting me in a room full of women waxing my dick on yeah, camera and using me like a sex object. But when I even made mention to the fact that ADHD guys have a hard to, like work hard to not look at boobs, like they were like, "This is fucking you know." I'm disgusted. Say, I'm disgusted yeah. sitting next to him right now. To right. Be fair. Buzzfeed was right. Yeah. Wow. How dare you? Yeah. So, yeah. but you were what did what? Did, so, I didn't mean to. How derail long did you, this. How long did you work <laughs> no, at Buzzfeed for? Like then? a like a year plus, just over a year, I think. Did you do their internship like right after you got out of school? No. I, so I had a terrible job. I I, I was working at. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to say what it was, but I was working as a coordinator mm-hmm. for this thing, <laughs> and it was like an office job, and I was in the same office as a guy. Okay. This, I have to be deep background on this because I don't want to blow anybody up, but I was in the same office as a guy who had created a very popular MTV show and he had created two TV products, one of which was <laughs> a network for people with Alzheimer's. Okay. And, oh. the, and it was tanking. It Is was it? not doing well. <laughs> right. Did they just play the same shit over and over again? Jesus Christ. No, no, no. There was an in-between job. So, but this guy would like scream in the office every day and be like, I need a shark. I need someone who's going to sell this fucking product. He sounds and, like Alex Jones. Oh, he was, he, he, it was insane. It was, it was a crazy time. So I was like trying to get anywhere and I was filling out applications everywhere and I did a spec video for Buzzfeed. And so when Buzzfeed hired me as an intern, it was like, I was like, yeah, yes. like any, anything else, anything Bro, new. I, I remember after I made it through the internship, I called my mom sobbing. Because wow. mm. my, I remember my mom, when I didn't get thrown out of school the first semester, called me crying. And she was like, we never thought you were going to make it. So, mm. yeah. Little did did either of you know you'd be drinking your own piss that month. Yeah. Uh, you know. I, I never worked there. I never drank my own piss. Did would you, ever, you, have, you ever get a little if piss? If the price is right, would you drink your own piss? At that point in my career, probably. Yeah, if probably. the piss is right. When you're young and hungry. Mm. Lemon pepper. Even piss looks I like would summer. drink like, I, I mean, I, I, I already figured out how I would tackle it. Drink so much water that my piss is like literally clear. It just, exa- it just, just water. Oh, that's fair. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do you have like one of those big ones? Yeah, that like, like big keep going. You can do it. Have yeah. you seen that one? Yeah. I had yeah. Oh, like a motivational. Almost yeah. there. Yeah. I hate yeah. that. You I love don't, drinking don't tell me. water. Dude, if you had one of those though, it'd make it easier to penetrate your because all the yoga people yeah. have it. It's yeah. a callback. That's See what true. I did there? It's a nice callback. Call that's good. I like that. Callbacks. That's comedy, that's man. Beat right there. There you go. Oh, my good. God. What would you, chuck, that was a real that's chuckle That's a chuckler. Sandwich. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, yeah. Chuckle week, baby. <laughs> I'm all for it. What yeah. would your uh, Yerba Mate profile look like? My Yerba Mate? Oh, yeah. oh dude. Oh, I'd love to, I already, love to just down. I already know. Wax ass. Fucking Ready? Sun photo, dog. Photo one, really obnoxious hat. Joshua Tree. Oh, like the black dog the, that isn't mine. Because my dog's <laughs> kind of mm-hmm. a little Weasley. I love him. But I'd have a full blown golden retriever. Oh, Ooh. nice. Full, full tilt golden retriever at Joshua Tree, rolling a cigarette. Second profile photo. You thought about this. Uh, well, I'm just off the cuff. Me doing full warrior one naked somewhere naked. in iceland okay oh. naked yeah we naked <laughs> but a butt shot because they yeah, the naked. Butt shot. a little bit of steam iceland, maybe your coming out look tiny. with a goat that's true with a goat somewhere in the frame. on on a goat on a goat yeah and a goat on you yeah goat. And then oh, goat, last you one go. last oh, one go. this photo is important okay okay this one, Me, this one ties everything volunteering <laughs> at a school in kenya surrounded by all the school kids in their uniform as I'm giving them board games. Okay. If there's what one thing game? Kenyan kids <laughs> want, board it's game? board games. <laughs> sorry. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's all sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Severe lack of board games in Kenyan uh, schools. Yeah. I, I, this is true. Well, yeah. I know. Really? No. I feel like <laughs> you lied to me. I, yes. I, yeah, you did. I've been doing here's that a, a lot. Here's a today. question for you. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no. Hassan. All right. You have a lot of necklaces. Does uh-huh. that ever irritate your neck at all? No. Really? You're just used to it? No. Yeah, I am. I, I mean, I take it off when I'm going to sleep. 
but mm-hmm. no, it doesn't really irritate my neck at all. It does. How, how come he gets a the... dating profile question? I'm like, does your neck hurt? Well, because ever since you come in here, you, I've been okay? thinking about that because I've never really worn necklaces like that before, and I've been thinking, I'm like, yeah. man. Yeah, I have not man, looked you in the eyes. Cool I've just been looked on. right on the little planet the whole time. It does stem the flow of blood to his head. Which yeah. to really? Oh, that checks out. The sponging of the brain. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, overcompensate. I drink Diet Coke to put holes in my brain, and then I also wear these so there's no blood pressure going up there, so I don't have to think about things too much. Okay, fine. It's like that short story, Harrison Bergeron. You know that one, right? No. <laughs> That's all you saw. Bor- not, Bor- uh, Bor- 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 Tell us about was a, Harrison Bergeron. There was a handicapper general because everyone has to be equal in the future. And so the smart people- Oh, is this by Ray Bradbury? This is by Kurt Vonnegut. Oh. And so all the smart people have little radios Re- yeah, they, put in their and- skulls. That, that play loud noise. Play loud noises, right. so they can't keep thinking for long stretches of time. Yeah, there was. And I think that the way that ended with was like a bunch of ballerinas that took yeah. off their weights and yes. then got fucking shot to death. Right. So these these oh. parents are watching the television, and then they have a son who is just huge, like like picture Hassan is their son, mm-hmm. right? And he's just this fucking giga chat, and he's got. Everything he's got, like they put weights on him. He's got his little radio receiver. Everything is like as <laughs> much tech on this fucker. Fold his dick in half. Yeah, they they bedazzle his little yeah, his yeah. fucking cock. Yeah, and and on the TV there's this little pre- this like a little theater show going on. And then Harrison is the is the son. He shows up and he's like, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And he starts ripping off everything. And then he grabs the ballerinas and he does a nice song and dance and they disable everything too. And it's this beautiful moment. Yeah. And then the handicapper general shows up with a shotgun and fucking kills him. And yeah. then the parents are watching this like, who is that boy? Because the the radios are uh, gone. Uh, yeah. yeah. Devastating. Right. Yeah, that so it's, it's like a commentary on like a hyper equitable society. That is so dark. Seems like anti-communist agitprop. Yeah, so that it does. Like, there yeah. you go. Didn't read it. Also, don't know about Miracle on Ice. So, <laughs> yeah. And I proudly stand <laughs> up the same next vein. to you. What What does agitprop mean? Agitated propaganda. Agitated propaganda. Mm. Yeah. All right, that's, that's your question. Is. Tell us about agitated propaganda. Oh wow. What's it so what dry? <laughs> Chuckle Week has that was gone a, dry. Yeah. That was a dry rub question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was, I'm, yeah. Joking. Yeah. I'm joking. We oh, like the wet pepper. rub. Um, oh yeah. Okay, so Hassan, how do you manage to like stream so much every day? Because the three of us, we don't really like. We used to stream, but none mm-hmm. of us are currently streaming on Twitch. No. And like, I personally find it really, really hard to stream. Like after I pass like the four or five hour mark, I'm like starting to crash. And you do it for like 10, 12 hours a not, day. Not anymore. I used to, last year, I spent uh, 42% of the entire year streaming. You calculated it. What the it. fuck? No, yeah. the internet did. The internet did, yeah. That is 42% insane. 42% of the entire year I was on camera live. Oh my God. Now, having said that, there was a couple different reasons for that. Obviously, COVID being one, right. the election cycle being another. So, I was working a lot. And there was not really anything else going on. But now I've, like, limited it down. I've, like, lowered it. Now I do, like, eight hours mm-hmm. a day. And even that's, that's a full a work lot. day. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even that's a lot for a lot of people. And I do it seven days a week. Do you, do um, you find yourself having to, like, put on a show? Or is it, ju- is it really just you sitting there? I mean, I, I like to think. I mean, I put prep work into it. And I have an idea of, like, where I want to take it every day. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's you. You have to be entertaining, certainly. Yeah. If I'm just like sitting there not doing anything, right? Or yeah. you know, watching a TV show that I want, or watch. watching like other streamer clips or something like that. Or yeah, I mean, I do that. Daily sure. dose, a little bit of daily dose. Daily dose. Daily dose. Of Sometimes, the yeah. I mean, I, I I like to go into like deep dive uh, YouTube essays and stuff like that, and then like also um, every time I do something like that, I usually will uh, bring in like additional footage you know, dive a little bit even further deeper into the background of the story itself. Like I was looking at family vloggers, like the Ace family. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, that I'm gets un- deep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm, I'm very unfamiliar with like YouTube culture. So right. I'm just learning about it. Like uh, the other day we looked at other kins uh, or mm. uh, I, I do a lot of deep dives in the TikTok stuff mm. where uh, there are entire groups of people on TikTok that apparently fake disabilities, like dissociative mm. disorder. 
multiple personality disorder. Really? Yeah, they just like, or even Tourette's, like they make it seem like it's very quirky. Dude, I, they're, TikTok, I, I was telling him the, the group that I love is like long haul trucker dads who get big into BDSM lip sync. What? And they'll be like, come over he's here. He's talking about like weird TikTok. Oh, I know exactly, exactly what you're talking about. Smack that ass. He's talking about like Daddy's a country home. boy kind of like. But they also like have like a tongue stud and yeah. they like maybe have like one colored contact lens and they're like, get over here, baby. Like yeah. lip syncing nine yeah, inch Daddy's nails and yeah, shit. Yeah. Always. Oh, Jesus. And, they're and, always, they, and they always have a Joker character too. They oh, all sure. love the Joker. Sure. <laughs> always. Yeah. So that's that's why you I make me angry. Dude, there's no stopping what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. dude. They, they all do, have like they do toys. The Fifty Shades of Grey. They always Ooh. use the Fifty Shades of Grey like uh, Lip sound. Sync. Yeah. Where they'll do like the the thing where like the guy will, <laughs> will come in and just do this. I don't know the why. I don't know what that, that means. Mean? I think it means like, like set, down, maybe, like be oh, submissive. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. Like, look submissive. Look uh, submissive and breedable. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Assume the. Assume the position. Assume the position. And it's yeah. like, it's, it's like, dude, you, you, it's, it's, it's always, it's a dude that works at, it's a dude that works at Bonefish Grill in Connecticut. And he's just like wearing a vest for no reason. And he goes like that. I love that shit. That I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. Just yeah. do that. Yeah. That shit is. Meth couples also are really interesting. To me, Ooh, me too. Meth couples? meth couples? Yeah. How do you know that they do meth? You oh, know. You, oh, you know. You know. You know. When someone's on, when someone's doing meth, you know. listen. If someone is, you can't really if, if hide someone it. is, if someone what is spray tanning, like? you know. Someone spray tanning ever. If someone has lip fillers, you know. Mm, okay. If someone's hitting the pipe five times a day, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay. I I like that too. It's like ICP Juggalo. Well, I I've taken the pressure off the Juggalo. I think the Juggalos. They're a family. They're, they're fine. They're no, family. no, no, they're fascinating. I, yeah. I'm fascinated with them. They're also, you know, they're anti-fascist. So, solidarity with the juggalos. One hundred percent. Whoop whoop. I hey. FBI considers them a criminal organization. Whoop which is whoop. Bullshit. I that is. I don't fun. know the too juggalos. Much about the, ju the juggalos. That's how you juggalos know they're are doing really right. interesting because like they, especially like in in Michigan and stuff, uh, they like galvanized a lot of um, kind of like downtrodden poor communities. Mm -hmm. And that's like why there are things that are really interesting symbols within their community, like the Fago Pop. Do you know what Fago Pop is? You're not from the Midwest. I don't, I don't Fago know Pop is like the like the bottom. It's you terrible. know when you buy cereal and the bottom like generic cereal doesn't even have a box; it just yeah. comes in a bag. Oh, yeah. Malto meal. Yeah, yeah. yeah Fago Pop is like the soda version of that. So the insane Pepper, clown posse like when they perform, <laughs> when they or their like affiliates perform, Twisted and all them. They'll pop open a Fago and just torch the crowd with like oh. cherry red and stuff like that. Right. And so that's like a symbol of like you're one of us because you drink that Fago pop. You don't drink that bougie ass, <laughs> right. brand name yeah. ass. Wow. Mr. Pibb, fuck you. Yeah, Mr. Pibb. No Fanta, Mr. No Fanta for me. Sprite? No, thanks. What do you go to a country club? Get the fuck <laughs> out of my face. Yeah. But that shit's awesome. Like, I, I like that they're inclusive. I, we we made a joke at the the Juggalos expense a while ago, and I felt bad about it because I I think the Juggalos actually have something very cool at the core of like what they do. No, what, I'm I'm fascinated by them. I'm they not also like, do do a lot of drugs. They do a lot of drugs at 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 at, at what is it? What's um, gathering of the Juggalos? They have something yeah. called the Drug Bridge. What what like is at the its core of the jug, Juggalos though? It's just family. It's it's like a it's like a it's fast, like, it's fast, fast and furious fast and furious, furious. Yeah. Fast and furious yeah. in real life. Family. It's like yeah. I mean, I'm gonna use this term, but I mean it in an endearing way. But it's like white trash rap. That's what it oh, is. Okay. I think they would self-identify as that. Yeah. I think they would self-identify. That's as why that. I don't think that it. I don't think that they would consider that like a slight. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's like Eminem is too highbrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh. why they they fuck oh. yeah they do Juggalo, mm. ICP Insane Clown Posse. They have, uh, there's a really interesting uh, place in Florida where it's like, I think it's called the Sausage Kingdom. Sausage oh, lo Kingdom. Love that yeah. place. And it's you know about this? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's basically where I go place. in my dreams. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a derelict, oh. like, it, it, oh. it's a mansion where, like, a bunch of strippers live. There's, like, I a little person. Home. There's a bunch of little people there. <laughs> okay. You know kingdom. what I mean? And they're just, like, they're just chilling. Just chilling. They do drugs. They fuck each other. And uh, they shoot guns. 
This See, is that's that's kind of like Sausage Land, you say? Sausage, sausage kingdom. kingdom. I think it's called Sausage Kingdom. If I'm okay. Not. Definitely don't get them mixed up. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, sausage, you don't land. Not sausage, sausage Land, land. is in California. Yeah. Yeah. Sausage Land's in. <laughs> we California. hate those. Not nearly as impressive. <laughs> it's like Disneyland yeah. and Disney <laughs> World. Yeah. yeah. I still don't know which is which. Cox never Berry know. Farm. Yeah, dude. That you know what always pisses me off about Knott's Berry Farm. Not scary farm when they say that it's scary. Why would you call it not scary farm? Call I've never it been scary to scary farm before. You're opposed. Go to... fuck yourself. What? I've never been. Okay, listen. Here's the thing. It's not scary. I don't care who you it, are. It's literally not when scary. people are creeping up behind you and jump scaring you, you're gonna go ah! Like your adrenaline is gonna spike. I'm a giant coward. Let's go together. I'm a I'll gi- film the whole thing, and I'm, if you don't jump, I will buy you I've your done car. It. We've done it together. Did we not go? He's together? Gonna, no. Do you hear me? Just you should buy a fucking car for you. If if Knott's Berry Farm, I let them know we are coming. If they don't get you to jump one time, I'll buy your vehicle. He, okay. he won't. Any vehicle he, I want to buy? No. You know this is this is. <laughs> you will get a this very reasonable <laughs> Prius. You get a no, Toyota I want a Yaris. Miata, dude. I you want, will get. Uh, you could take the value of the Prius and pay it towards whatever car it, you want. It's gonna. No, it's gonna be terrible. like. No, I, it's gonna I, I, be like I one want of those that Lamborghini states. truck, dude. I, no, yes. it's gonna be like one of those Tesla. If if we do a Lamborghini truck, we are going. Nope, not gonna finish that joke. Where were we? I was, I was gonna say I was gonna take you to Gitmo <laughs> and I mean, see if you're not, not scared bad. there. Let's Gitmo. I'm Muslim. Guantanamo Bay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what that is. Yeah, yeah. no, that's yeah. that's uh, that's uh, the real not scary. Yeah, if, if you can if you can make it through some waterboarding <laughs> yeah. and not be afraid, then I'll buy you a fucking Lamborghini truck. Okay, so we're not doing that. No, yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we could. We can make it like a Kickstarter if you want. Yeah. Here I thought <laughs> he was going to have a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> here I thought. Here I thought he was going to have like a David Dobrik moment. You know what I mean? I bought my best friend a Lamborghini truck. Like, uh, and then we could do the thumbnails. Where it was like. And then he swings you from a crane yeah. and fucking cr- puts another yeah, hole in just, your brain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. One well, of the, I, I'm the, the, the whole brain guy to his Dobrik, though. One of the things that we were talking about—that's not even true. I don't, I don't mistreat you physically <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm not like. Bro. Stop yelling! He's wincing. He's uh, wincing. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, the flinch. He's got trauma. Yeah. I wrote, here, things, I wrote here in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> One of the things we were talking about with with Michael Reeves when we had him on the podcast is uh, we were thinking of of things that YouTubers or Twitch streamers would do if there were like no. Social rules, no ethics, yeah. no ethics. No ethics. So if oh. God wasn't real, like oh. like Mr. Beast yeah. going to the ocean and k- paying people a hundred thousand dollars to Dude. get like five whales with a harpoon. Also, the drug use. Oh, everyone would kill. On... You. Mr. Beast would murder people. You like, think so? I mean, I think he's a nice person. Um, so he wouldn't do that, but like someone like Mr. Beast would be like, a, there would be like a bizarro Mr. Beast, you know, Carl, like the Carl Russian would one, do like it. the Russian copycat. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, yes, here we have, we have five kids in <laughs> Siberia. <Yeah. laughs> They will try to get out of Siberia. We have abandoned. <laughs> we have abandoned Soviet era minefield. If you make it to the end of minefield, <laughs> you keep the Lambo. Today we sent fifteen kids to the tundra with a granola bar. Hope they make it back. <laughs> it's called Granola Bar Siberia Challenge. <laughs> it's like, it's like sponsored by Cashy. <laughs> if you'd like granola, it's the best. <laughs> oh we shit! See if we they can... all die. Yeah, it's like Mr. Beast. You have to promote. You have to sponsor the video, then they pay for it so right exactly. if there were no socials it'd be fucking it'd be the glad thumbnail is just one of the kids cased in ice yeah. <laughs> it's like the mr beast freezing thumbnail like, a kid, oh, like peeling his Christ. fucking skin off <laughs> <and> gross <laughs> on a frostbite he's like fucking ripping up uh ripping up an animal so he could like live inside of the carcass for a little oh, bit oh right a little, <laughs> little bit a little bit of star wars yeah. moment. russians are way ahead they of call him mr beast though. for a reason slap what? fight Oh, that shit the is slap ooh, lanes. Ooh, yeah. When that, is I, the influencer slap fight gonna happen? I thought that that was that. we had critical. I thought that was like in like Austria. It's in Poland. Poland, I think. But well, that's the same. Yeah, it's yeah, Soviet yeah, block. Yeah, it's it's Soviet block. I don't know what they just said. Poland is very different than than Russia. Oh my God! You guys disrespected the Polish. Oh no! Same. There's listen. Same they they like, have yeah. a Polish circuit, but there's definitely a Russian subsidiary of slapping. Yeah. Their entire economy revolves around uh, doing crocodile and and shooting dash cam videos. The entire Russian economy is fueled by dash cam videos. Dash like, cam videos for those of, you of who like don't, meteors for those falling of, down from the sky. For those of you who don't know what crocodile is, crocodile is like the... When heroin doesn't cut it. It's like the crack cocaine to heroin, but like there's gasoline in it. Yeah, I mean, if you're naming a drug uh, pretty much after a crocodile, but different... Then, you want to know yeah. why it's named after a crocodile? Because you, you, it turns your skin into scales. Yeah. 
No, you, your skin peels off, so it looks scaly. Why would anyone oh. willingly do that? Because they're just fucking. They're in Russia. What else are you gonna you do? Here, what are you saying? You don't party, dude? Because they. That's probably what the Russian squad is for. Because then it prevents it, the scales from getting all over. Because yeah. it prevents. I, I have a theory. Blood from moving everywhere. I also think that's precisely the reason why they're so good at parkour. They always climb shit. They is just. On they just the no, oh, no. Because they they're like, trying they to get to it, bro. There's just a little basket at the top of the building. They don't give a fuck. I found the intersection of like. Cr like crazy bait videos and it was taking they took a beautiful model and a parkour guy dangled her off the side of a building a Russian? oh right I yeah no the videos the videos online of them literally just going up and fucking walking on the yeah. on the top of buildings oh like, that there's shit. always a little yeah. bit of like wide angle lens. i'm gonna no, hang in the from background. this yeah. like, they set the scene really good dude their yeah. content is it's up there have you seen hasbullah Oh, dude. Well, that's Dagestan, I think. But yeah, also same shit. Yeah, same direction. Yeah, yeah. Poland. Dagestan. By the way, are we allowed to take a ba bathroom break at any point? Dude, I need Absolutely. to pee so Absolutely. bad. Yeah, yeah we should just kind of. And we're back with Chuckle Week. Charlie, what was it? I, I just, it away. I'm trying to remember. It's I'm sure good. you have something you want. To it's add. not compelling. Yep. Right now. Give it. Um, I want this topic. Yeah. So wh where did how? He's oh, I've got me. one. He's doing it me. Yeah. I know, it's fun. <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Okay, so we talked a little bit about how you had, like, no sort of uh, retention or exposure to, like, pop culture stuff, mm -hmm. references. Mm -hmm. What sort of thing did you grow up on? I mean, inspiration, sort of childhood, what would that look like? I mean, in Turkey, especially, this is aging me a little bit, but, like, back in the day, mm -hmm. uh, you know, pre-internet, it was when I was alive, because I'm about to be 30. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Sorry, man. I mean, yeah. Oh it, my god. When I was growing up, it's devastating, I know. Um <laughs> we stop blowing dust all over the mic. <laughs> we it gets worse. We would get movies like a year later or like yeah, 2 what? years later sometimes. Oh my god. So, when I was growing up, like you know, I'm watching American movies like after they've they've already popped off, you know what I mean, in the right. western world. So, I uh, I was still fascinated with American culture, like everyone is, which is why I don't have an accent. Like I consumed a lot, like whatever I could. Mm -hmm. So I know enough pop culture references, just not like Wait, you don't have an accent because you consume so much American, like pop culture. Yeah, from I learned America. English at a very early age, and I just like literally like read books in English. I was like a Amerib uh, Amer Amer weeb or an Amerabu. How long were you in Turkey for? Eighteen. Until I was 18 years old. Wow, oh, shit. And you, wow, that's that's crazier than you don't have like an accent. That's yeah. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Do you flip into one with your family or anything? To a like no, a, no. Hearing him speak Turkish though makes my nipples hard. Give him a little Turkish. Okay, let's get a little Turkish. Let's get a little Turkish. Okay, okay, what do you guys want me to talk say, about? Man, make I fun love of American culture so much. Capitalism is my favorite thing. American culture is so much. Capitalism is my favorite thing. It's not so much. The only thing I'm getting is a chok boktan. I feel like the words are just blowing past me. It's yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Nice. That's hot. It's nice. What if I just made that up? You guys would never know. We'd have no idea no. what you just no, fucking I did said. Not. Cut that out, maybe. But, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy no. crap. Um, but yeah, I uh, I speak Turkish fluently, and uh, it's my first language technically. And it's the language I spoke the most for the 18 years do that I was growing up. Do you speak yeah. any other languages? No, just a little bit of German, but like not enough. It's nothing, you know? Why How German? You, um... In Turkey, you learn either German or French as your second, oh, as your fuck. third language. Ottoman Sorry. Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or also, you know, World War One allegiances. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I get that. Wow. Yeah. Luckily, no World War Two allegiances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they were like, all right, we're not. You know, the first one was Ooh. bad enough. We're not. Eh, we're not doing the second one. This seems, you know, that's your thing. You that do it. That second one was a doozy. So, so how did you get your? How did you get your start then? In oh, what? Just all this, what you're doing right now. We did Political the Young Turks. Turks. Yeah. Um, Jank, Jank, my uncle. Wow, you just hear so is. much when he talks about himself. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, sorry, geez. we're not talking about Will right now, guys. God damn yeah. it. Come on. Yeah. You're going to talk about Will's feet, brother? Yeah, yeah, what's no, what's going on? Oh, he doesn't want to. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dude. Okay, 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 I want to talk about chips more. Shut up. Okay, this feels a lot better now. <laughs> Do that more. Um, See, David Dobrik. Yeah. Wow. He's just waiting. He loves it. He loves How it. dare He's you? He's just waiting to swing me How into a crane. Dare yeah, you? Back into the trunk. Yeah. That's uh. insane. Um, 
but yeah, no, I I uh, I interned at the Young Turks because like I graduated with a political science degree from Rutgers, mm-hmm. and of course, the only jobs available when you graduate with a political science degree, regardless of whether you have uh, you know you graduated magna cum laude or whatever the fuck it's called when you have a three seven five, um, it doesn't matter. The you only three seven five guys. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that like I had. I thought if you do the right thing right. and you like go to school and you, you know, get wrong. good grades, wrong. you will get like a job. <laughs> and I was wrong. The only job that Why they- Why would you ever think that? Yeah, it was so it's dumb of me. ridiculous. Well, it was very <laughs> stupid, very foolish of me. The only jobs that are available are, of course, like selling life insurance to your fucking immediate friends and family. Uh, so uh, good luck to all the Zoomers out there. That's probably what you're looking- at for your future unless you dude, know someone dude i remember my one of my mentors luckily i did yeah one of my mentors in school the last thing he said to me when i got my <laughs> master's degree i was like what should i do in film like where, where should i approach this he's like i'd prepare to be poor <laughs> he was a guy i looked up to and i was like oh i mean he's <laughs> teaching because he like literally just yeah he went through it and was like fuck this is i'm he, just kidding is, is just scam faculty, kids into doing it is he one of the faculty that like the film school at elon was like all of our faculty have worked in the industry. Uh, and they were and they potentially, that. yeah. I'll just never forget that. It was it was scary. It was the scary last thing to hear from yeah. your mentor. Oh yeah, as like you're out the door. Yeah, the oh, that was the thing. last thing. I, yeah, that was, like, that, that was like that was like yeah. That should have yeah. been a disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, but um, Jesus continue. Christ. So I uh, I interned there, and uh, I wanted to move to Los Angeles anyway. Mm-hmm. And uh, my uncle was like, oh, this is an opportunity for me to hire someone and uh, skirt some serious like labor r- regulations as a family. Sure. Mm. Like I was I, I was living in the kitchen of a frat house. Yep. Because like LA real estate is insane. As and you guys and know. his pit bull fish lived in the, your closet on yeah. the floor. I remember yeah. that. I, uh, I uh, was basically just like living out of a frat house yep. kitchen. Like we used the to chef's quarters there. We used to bribe our way into nightclubs with pepperoni pizza. That's true. We That's did do true. that. Yeah. And um, I worked at the Young Turks, and I made like I think my first year salary was like twenty one thousand dollars. Like it was oh, under oh. the. That's it, like the. I got money back from the government. Like yeah. the government was like, "You're <laughs> so well poor." Well and taxis, I was looking market. forward yeah. to it. That's how much uh, you'd make if you were. <laughs> That's around how much my buddy made when he was in the Marines per year. It's like like twenty one thousand. Yeah, 1, or something. yeah he's That's like, crazy. well, at least with the Marines, like, I mean, you, you, you get room and board, yeah, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So I had to, I had to make my own accommodations, but uh, that's how I started because I just had nothing else uh, right. that. I could do that I would enjoy doing uh-huh. so I started doing ad sales at the Young Turks and they needed someone to do like direct ad sales and they had no idea they had nothing like they had no program. Uh, dedicated to like you know selling ads and inventory so i basically built that out right advertisement sales and operations in in its entirety oh wow and then i uh i always wanted to be on camera though Mm -hmm. because you know i'm a fucking narcissist right i was like i could do everyone in this room is a narcissist exactly um and (laughs) (laughs) so i i was like i will literally just like i will fill in roles that uh no one else wants to do like if any of the talent like the on-camera talent they don't want to show up for work one day i'll be the guy and i was dog shit like i was so bad on camera when i first started not much has changed i'm still bad but i was bad back then as well so Mm -hmm. i uh a lot has changed he's gotten better no i've gotten let me be that guy yeah Mm -hmm. i've gotten a lot better for sure but i um i started doing that and then i was like i'll produce my own show i basically like was selling ads, doing cold calls, all this stuff, while also simultaneously shooting a green screen teleprompter show. And they did not have that at all. At the one, I feel like I saw that one. Out of a closet. T- yeah. yeah. That was in a closet. That was the a one fucking with the white oh background. God. Yeah. That was a utility closet that we wow. turned into a stu- I turned into a studio, basically. Wow. And then it popped off because I got <laughs> on Facebook and they were like, you're just going to do all of our Facebook stuff. Wow. Like you're demoted. No longer are you doing sales. You're going to do Facebook. Well, that's because <laughs> your uncle was letting everybody steal your sales deals. At too. Oh, that was that's his true. uncle would like let him massage a sales deal to the last thing, then someone would swoop, swoop in and close it and, and take close the commission. It. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, and his uncle would be like, "Them's the break." So it's 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 interesting because his uncle basically at this point like tries to whiplash this. 
like basically be like, I did all this to motivate you. Are you on good terms with your uncle? Yeah, Mark? yeah, oh, I okay. still love him. But I mean, it was he was. <laughs> but it's just it's insanity I think, I that he was, looks back at the situation. He's like, this was all part of the plan. The thing is, like, oh, I think I he like. was. I mean, they're progressive, right? So nepotism is a big no-no, and uh, in order to like combat against like nepotism statements from within the company. He like went overboard with like the you're fucking nothing <laughs> like you yeah. know what I mean. Right. I'm just gonna do whatever I want, and um, I mean that still doesn't stop people from saying it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's he's the Jon Snow of Tyt basically. Oh okay. Um. So yeah, I just I built the show, the breakdown out of a fucking utility closet, and it blew up on Facebook. Like that was what I would do like those Tommy Lauren videos back in like 2016 election mm-hmm. cycle. That's mm-hmm. when I first like popped off. And uh, finally, in like 2019, uh, I had started streaming on Twitch, mm-hmm. and it was getting to a point where I had like consistently a couple thousand people in my audience. So they basically gave me an ultimatum and were like, "You know, you can't live stream while we're like live streaming," because I would go yeah. into work, write my videos in the morning at like 6 a.m., wake up, write these videos, okay, mm-hmm. and shoot the video, <coughs> leave work in the middle of the day, like at like 2 a.m. basic or right, 2 p.m work out and then stream for like six hours so they told me don't do that and i did that for like a year and a half and they were like you can't do that anymore so i was like all right well i'm just gonna do this then and i just uh, and they were like oh oh oops yeah wait (laughs) no it was the i mean it was terrifying seems like a good decision though yeah it was it was terrifying but it was the greatest thing that i i think most big decisions that end up working out in our lives are come from that sort of yeah. Fear, that leap of faith. Yeah, like oh, I yeah. literally didn't have health insurance. I was like, I'm fucked. Dude, like, I'm so fucked. Yeah. I-, I tell the story of like the reason I started Twitch streaming is like he started to do well and like he cornered me one night when we were drinking and was like, you need to Twitch stream. So you guys man. were both drunk and you're like, dude. Well, listen. I probably was drunker than he was, but I was going through it at the time and he's like, you need to Twitch stream. You absolutely need to do it. And I think I had like. <laughs> this is after a day of drinking your Yeah, <laughs> I think I had like $2,000 in my bank account at the time and he was like, just do it, just do it, just do yeah. it. And I bought a shitty gaming PC on sure. Amazon. And that was kind yeah, of that. That like my moment where I was like, well, I spent the money on a shitty gaming <laughs> PC. Time to stream, baby. We're all in. So how did, how did you, you two meet originally? We had a mutual best friend. Mm-hmm. So my best friend growing up in New Jersey went to school with him at Rutgers. They became ba- best friends. And then one night I was visiting Rutgers and my friend Dan was like, you got to meet this sweaty fat fuck. He's hilarious. Mm. Enter he's sweaty, sweaty fat he, fuck. He sweats cheese. He was he was a way was sweatier. A I was way sweatier and way fatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was hilarious. Yeah. And we met outside the I golden. Lost all rod. Of that. What was the name of that bar? The, <laughs> we had the, one. Golden, <laughs> the golden rod. I don't remember. I don't even it, remember the Rutgers bar. Dude, I was like drunk most okay. of my college experience. Okay. I don't so remember most. He doesn't. He doesn't remember. Yeah. But we met, and then we kind of bonded a little bit. And years later, we were both living in LA, and Dan, the mutual friend, came out and was like, "Let's all do lunch." And Dan was dating prototypical, terrible New Jersey Awful. girl, the the worst, the worst girl in the Wants world. That wanted to be a model and like had the like model vibes, yeah, but actually wasn't a model. So it's like. That insecurity probably motivates you to be like an even worse person. Right. Right. And yeah. So Dan took us to a burger place called Blue Plate Burger. And we all sat down and the majority of the menu is burgers. And she starts. Yeah. I froze up. Yeah. (laughs) How did you not know this? Jeez. Jeez. So sandwiches. So we know we we should have won mogul money. Yeah. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Uh, So she's looking at the menu and she's kind of doing like that. (laughs) And he's like, "Baby, like what?" And she's like, "I don't. There's nothing on here that I want." A lot of voices. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. And there's not, I don't want to eat anything fucking on here, Dan. Yeah, like, I'm fucking... Crap. Yeah, so so he's like, come on. Like, just wanna. So she, she's like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have so a fucking baby. science salad. Anyway, the like we're like sitting there like this they is They walked awkward. away. Yes. They literally got up so, and they walked away to continue the argument elsewhere. Right. So she, had a well, moment. she finally storms out. She's like, I'm out of here. Fuck you. And he's like, babe, <laughs> babe, babe. That kind of moment. Babe, come on. Don't so, go. Yeah, he clips after her and we're like left like this. We the, don't know each other. Like, we've hung out one time. And you're in probably a similar booth to the one that you're sitting in right yeah. now. Yeah. And, and here's the bonding moment, right? Burgers come out. We're both fat kids at heart. We eat our burgers. 
our friend Dan's burger is sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and we look at one another and we do, and we literally have like this unspoken, like, this is a punitive we're going to punish him for yeah. for living the lifestyle he's living. Right. If he wants to date this miserable human, you do not deserve burger. Yeah, you don't get the burger. So we, we have the burger. Right, we, we, that, so was, we, that was the reason. So we cut the burger made. in half. That makes sense. And we ate the burger. And it was that silent agreement <laughs> that bonded us for life. That was 10 years ago now. Wow. Ten, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Holy crap. And I still hear her in my head. Her I don't want to win. He's got kids now. I a oh, kid. He has kids. Very no, no, different. No, no, no. Oh, okay. different, different God. model of that. Or actually, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, this is a very bad. popular podcast. Yeah. No, she's lovely. She's she, lovely. She, she's, I, I've never. She met is her, a though. vast improvement over that's, that's the girl that's that. Good. that so there were plenty of you, Dan. We're proud of you. There, there were plenty of different versions of that person, though. That was like there were a lot of iterations on terrible girl. Just like so, it's exactly the same person. I though. see why you guys were fat kids now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right. constant. We, we, yeah, constant burgers that we were every eating. Every time that he was with them, a new. Yeah. Woman of that yeah. same variety, it was like, okay, we got to do the burger punishment. Sorry, Dan, time. not yet. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. same so, cycle of were, yeah. burger abuse. One point five times the normal intake. Yeah. That yeah. Was because of That's, that, was, yeah. we did not eat her side salad. For the rest, no, she, hey, she was not at a burger place. I'm sure the side salad was. I not think very we good. left before they even came back. Could be. I, I think we remember. just. I think we just took just off. Ate the burger and I remember. Oh, salad. oh no! It was like it. It was like problem presenting problem. Like their their relationship was a fucking mess, and that side salad was a symbol mm, for like right. you're not doing enough for me. We're in Los Angeles. I wanted to see the fucking stars, and we're out with your fat friends eating burgers. Like oh, fuck. You are. I want to do cocaine and go to rodeo. You are so. Good at that voice. <laughs> it's like it's, it's almost like it's a part of you that like you sort of like it, pop a little. Uh, yeah. It's it, like, like, like out. a woman. It's deep. It's like a <laughs> sorority it's woman inside of you, model oh, girl. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Wow. There's more. There's more to that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful. Holy story. It comes from. A, it comes from a deep place. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I mean, you were at this burger place, right? Yeah. And you know, there's a whole bunch of. I mean, we talked a lot about what part of the sandwich. You guys are. We like food uh, here. We like, we like food. Chocolate. We like Big putting fan. things on food. We, you yeah. know, favorite thing to put on a burger. What would you guys say? Oh, besides just cheese. You know, I, like I love bacon. replacing oh, my buns bacon. with lettuce. Oh, okay. Uh, what? Ooh. Shouldn't have asked that. I'm just no, talking about the protein side. Protein so you are, you are I know sick. that's, that's terrible. Lettuce that's doesn't that belong terrible. on anything. Hold on, it's want... not that terrible if you really like to taste the, the flavor of the cheese and the meat. No, that's yeah. fucked. And it's not something up. you do Wait, all the time. Do you do it for a diet purpose or do you? No, I just do it because it's like it's real. It's got a crunch to it, and it's like it's something I would I wouldn't do it at other places. Like lettuce wrap. Do it at like like I would do it at like fucking Five Guys. This is the most insane thing. Anyone's ever said. No, no, no. I'm yeah, with you. I choose. I is a fucking Lacroix. I need, okay. I don't know <laughs> why are we taking this Hold fucking on. food advice? I need everyone to like. Over yeah. I need everyone to shut the fuck up right now, so I can explain <laughs> oh this goodness. and break it down for you, no, Barney my, style, my, Hassan. My so you like the buns, and I understand that. I love a toasted bun. Trust me. But <laughs> one of the wonderful things about the protein style at In and Out is that it removes a certain layer in flavor that is preventing you from tasting the cheese, the chilies if you put them on there, the tomato. You have the, a chilies protein style uh, burger? I get it like animal style and then and protein style. Yeah, animal style protein style. I've, I've had that. So and it's that's got like, all, but it's but like. That's a struggle choice because you're like, oh God, I need to like cut weight. So I'm just. It's not about cutting weight. It's about getting the crunch of this lettuce no. and then being able to no. taste the cheese and the meat. The, the meat is warm. My Think girlfriend's the in, the, in, in the studio right now and she can attest to it. That it is a literally a good I've way to it. have. I've had it many times. Then I'm what, just, she what's, begrudgingly gave a no, thumbs up. Yeah. Just, I, I, just I, I, it was a very we half effort. We have an impressionable audience, and you are really saying this. Can right you now. come my, here? Can, come here. Come here onto the podcast and just and just say your piece into the microphone. Oh my goodness. Okay. Calling the witness to the stand. It's very good. From oh God! See, that was like a that, like someone who that good. sounds yeah, like someone course. a kidnapped Shay, person would Shay, say. Like right. Shay, you're like damaging my argument, even though you <laughs> yeah. like this. All thing. the doors yeah. in the studio are so, locked. So I've I've had a protein style burger. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I've I've had it many times. I've I'm not confused by that at the existence of that at all. I'm confused that you deliberately do it for non dietary reasons. Because that's no, why I, it exists. But, but, but I get it. it I get it. It exists for wait 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 wait. Many other cuisine 
use lettuce wraps, right? If I'm eating larb, I have a nice lettuce wrap. Mm-hmm. If Burgers I'm, don't. Yeah, thank you. I'm just it's saying it's a nice change of pace. It's, it's, it's not, okay, here's some points I need the to make. It's not like every time I go to dinner out, I do this. But if I'm looking for, it's, it's, Specifically, in and out is the only place that I would. What let other thing? So you've never done this with other things? Like you don't go like, oh, I want a burrito. Like let's just make a lettuce burrito. Oh, no, Jesus. because it's just <laughs> really good at dinner. I tried it once and I was like, this tastes so wonderful to me. I have I. I so have, you, look. let me understand this. So you, if there was a way for you to just consume the meat and cheese and the animal style, you know, it's just Thousand Island sauce, but. With with onions on it, no, um, because no, I like the, the lettuce. Snap the lettuce, lettuce there yeah. is nice because the, because it's it offers sort of a crunch to it. Yeah, I mean, you don't get necessarily get, get fun. It's not my choice, but you I don't get, get it. A crunch from a fucking toasted bun. No, but there's lettuce you in the man. You, you put lettuce on it if you want yeah. fucking crunch. Yeah. Yeah. You don't though. You don't I don't put lettuce on. I would. I like. Are you not a vegetable guy at all? You don't eat any vegetables. Vegetables. I don't eat fruits. He's never even tried. I agree with you on that. I feel bad about being on his side. I eat vegetables. Uh, I don't mind it in sandwiches. I think they're a great complimentary, uh, you know, thing that you put in a sandwich. I don't eat fruits at all, and I usually don't eat vegetables on its own, though. I don't understand. As a video, uh-huh. could I maybe go wrangle up some very good preparations of vegetables, like yeah. balsamic Brussels sprouts seared one side? Oh, look at his face. They're, that's delicious, though. That shit's I'm, good. Uh, I'll try it. Like. A- and bring it and try and a and gallon s- of your own piss. No, say there will be very this will, this light, will piss, down ass, light, right? piss, light piss, light piss, like or, or like or like or, buffalo buffalo fried cauliflower. Have you ever had that? Oh, that very good. That might that slap. Very good. good. That might that slap. I might piss. enjoy it. And your body will be like mm, vitamins and minerals. I'm not dying. Like, what what no, he's gonna die. Nice food. He, he's gonna die. He's never had it. He's gonna he, reject it. You yeah. think? One, yeah. one time, he just, he, probably he the just starts least. blistering. Meet <laughs> 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 uh, now. One time, uh, uh, when Shane and I were in Vegas, we went to a restaurant that had probably the least healthy healthy thing, which was like these deep fried. Brussels sprout pieces you just eat with mm. chopsticks. That's even the point. Anyway. And they were yeah, you're defeating the point of I know, <laughs> but if you gave that to Schlatt, I'm sure you'd like it. Yeah. Probably. That's that's step one. But that's yeah. good, though. That's delicious. Yeah. It's the spoonful of sugar yeah. that Bro- you need makes to- Makes the medicine go down, baby. Right. Brussels, Brussels sprouts are pretty good. I mean, I say like I'm anti-vegetables, uh, but I mean like, I don't know. I just don't- Like when I think vegetables, I think like spinach. Like I will never eat that. I'm a big spinach. It's guy. terrible. I could throw I, can spinach I, in like a smoothie or something. I, I'm gonna really be like very real. Maybe. I think a smoothie. Fuck. I think vegetables are all about how you prepare them. Vegetables are all about how you prepare them. And I think most people just treat vegetables as like the oh this is just like the something that I have to have on the plate so that it's not just all meat. Yeah. So people don't care about it. But if you give them love, like. I'm not a vegan. He Love means, is the answer. He means oil. That's it. You got. Oil. You got to douse. You need oil. Yeah, you got to douse him in oil. <laughs> you know what these vegetables need? They need some oil. That's what it is, though. Need to be covered in some mayo. Yeah. And yeah. some oil. Oh, we're going yeah. deep fry. Mm. Then we're going to dip them in meat. That's the only, yeah, that's the only, that's the only way you make it acceptable, sauce. though. Like, you, you're, just like, you're not <laughs> raw dogging veggies, stuff. except for, like, I guess. Uh, avocado, but that's a that's a fruit, and also it doesn't count. It's like a cheat code, right? But avocado, do you like avocado? Avocado, avocado is absolutely yeah. a cheat. Yeah, code. Oh, so you, so you like a fruit? Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, like avocado is poisonous like to like scoops. Most scoops. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 of course. Avocado is right. poisonous to most animals. What's what's what you said? I, you, oh, I just what the I'm fuck, fuck. Did you just say <laughs> over here, guys? I said avocado is poisonous to most animals. Really? Yeah, we're like one of the only. It's not a fun fact. What? That's not fun. It's a less sad fact. It's oh. a sad fact or a potentially <laughs> usable fact in a life or death situation. Well, here's the thing: I'm not putting, I'm not putting like guac on my burgers or anything like that. <laughs> Don't I'm put putting, guac in the kibble. you know what? I'm fucking putting on my burgers, and this leads us into the next topic of discussion. I'm putting bacon on my burgers. Mm. Oh fuck yeah! So imagine this. Yep. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, oh, this is good. Yeah. but no more video games, mm. or? or would you rather have games, Ooh. unlimited games, <gasps> but no games, oh. but no bacon, but no games? <laughs> you mean no bacon? No, you, just you, said, you just said you could have unlimited games. Would but you no rather? Games. But no games. You have unlimited, unlimited bacon, bacon, but no, no more, more. I'll games. take the games. Or, or games, unlimited, unlimited games, but, but no, no more games. games. No more games. No more. So games. that is the question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you? I thought you misspoke. What do you mean? 
What are you talking about? Would you rather have unlimited games but no more games? Is what you guys keep saying. Do you need to hear it again? Do you need to hear it again? No, we they're, say they're it brain again massaging you. Say it again. I guess I'll take the bacon. Really? Fuck. But there's no more games. Seriously? The there's no more, no games, more games in either option. No, but on the other hand, you I've know, listened no, carefully. I've li- listened carefully to your really? question, Listen, sir. I get if Hassan said that because he's got all the holes from Do you just, do you just have a bag Coke, of chips but, rattling around well, up I'm there? Sh- I'm sure that Hassan would give us that answer because he's got all his all the dents in his penis, but... You know. I do not have dents in my penis. <laughs> He's um, got a few dents. Got a dents um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the second option. You go with unlimited games, but right? That but makes no sense. games. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's, good. That's, that's good. good. that's good. That's. I think that's the favorable one that. here. That's good. That's, that's a good you will. Thank go you so much for coming yeah. on, man. All right. Well, uh, here I am on the David Dobrik podcast, <laughs> just getting abused by everybody. So that does it for this episode of Chuckle Sandwich, part of Chuckle Week. It's such, a, a lot. it's such a good name with our with our friends, Mr. Hassan and Mr. Will Neff. Did you know your first last name kind of guy? By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I was called Neff my entire life until there was a brand, and then and I had to Will fucking, Neff now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he like literally wears a brand all the time, so it's like, I like it's to like fuck with people. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like Merck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Tim in. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Will Neff. I made the brand. Yeah. We've stolen something from another show that we have started to do this week for some reason at the end. Um, uh, I think oh, Schlatt's really into it. Son, Will, yeah. we got this camera, this camera, this camera. Let's roll out the red carpet. Tell everybody what you got going on in your lives. Sure. Go ahead. Which one am I talking? That so one? So this one? Okay. All right. Well, but no, no, this that one, one, that this one. one. Okay. That one. The one Try and look on the between right. those. Okay, I'm looking at both. Do you see this one over here? I'm looking at both of them. No, that Do you one see this one? See I can't. Can't I can't. Okay, not that, not that one. one. I can't that look one? at that one. Look at these it's two. too far. Don't, well, you can. Don't. I'm these. Chuck a week. Okay, so. <laughs> Just look at the one Borif points to. Mm hmm. Borif points to one? I'm a Sam Piker. Borif points to the other one now? I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Hasanavi. Oh, God, I'm just looking at all of them now. <laughs> oh, he keeps changing one it. One eye on each, Hassan. One, one eye on each. Come okay. on, eye on the ball. Uh, and, and also, uh, Will and I here have a podcast called Fear and Malding, where we uh, record an episode every Wednesday. It's out on uh, Thursday. You can find them. You're, put it, you're pointing at both of them now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where, the red carpet's uh, retracting, Hassan. Fear and, Hurry up, Fear man. and Malding is our podcast. You can you know find it wherever podcasts are. On Excellent. the internet. <sighs> and Will. What about you? Okay, here's how you do an ad read. Oh, uh, hello there. My name is William Neff. You can find me at Will Neff on Twitch or The Will Neff on Twitter. Wow. The Will Neff or Will Neff so is the iteration that you'll find me all over the web, oh. YouTube, and all other <laughs> social media platforms. I have a podcast with Hassan called Fear and Molding. I have a show with Cutie Cinderella called Dinner and a Movie. I do D&D on Wednesdays with Arcadum. And I also have my own Twitch stream on which I teach film and various other film elements you can come for screenings Mise every week. That's right, every weekend. Mm. Make sure you follow me, and I wouldn't hate it if you hit that subscribe button. I have another. I have another plug. No, you're done. I got. I got. Okay, this is this one's for Jay Schlatt too. But uh, I found out that there is a Hassan TWT. Oh, Hassan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and twit? Um, Hassan Twit. Yeah. yeah. Is that how you say it? I think so. I, I just yeah. say twit in my head. Yeah, Hassan I'm, I'm twit. Probably... Uh, there's a Hassan selfie twit day. Is that uh, what it's selfie called? Day? Yeah. Yeah, apparently. I just literally I was peeing and I saw this on my on my timeline. And I was like, it's coming up in a week. Do you want to do a selfie for I'm the... going to do a selfie. Well, this is probably well, going to come out like, you know, so like long from now. Well, everyone, okay. Yeah, yeah. So well, it's cool. Everyone hopefully really you guys were a part of Hassan twit. Selfie when it day. happened, yeah. Hassan yeah. Twit selfie day. I don't even know what that is. I don't either. I there's, think you take selfies. There's a Neff Twit. You think there's a Neff? I don't even know what it is. You're talking, about slime, you're talking about NFTs. Slime Twit? Is there slime? Ted Twit. Ted Twit? Ted twit? Milk Twit. There's not a Schlatt. No, it's, there's yeah. not a Schlatt I, I told, I told no, my there's followers there's no that it was going to be Ted Twit because I want to take over the name Ted. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good Is there a Schlatt Twit? No. 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 It's called no, Ram Twit. No, no, no. Yeah. Is it? It's called Ram Twit. Yeah. Ram twit. There's a Schlatt Twit where everyone's like, if you follow this guy, I'm unfollowing you. Um, basically. They yeah. did a selfie day one time. I just saw I just saw it trending once. 
when I was like taking a shit. Yeah, and it was all mug shots. Like, hmm. And it was just people just being like, if you post a selfie, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, really? Like yeah. yeah, they fucking yeah. hate Oh, it, I was dude. just kidding. I didn't no, realize no, they yeah. Oh, no, they and hate And everybody him. who they posted a selfie, all their replies were like, you ugly piece of shit. Like, you <laughs> so go do they, fuck yourself. It's a day they where not, they print out all the selfies and they knives at them friends with everyone? Uh, they haven't figured that out yet. It's very weird, like because they they'll they'll out. be like, if you follow, if you hang out with Jay Schlatt, like, you know, you're you're canceled. It's like, but we all do. Yeah, yeah. When Schlatt isn't throwing a fit about his inconveniences, he's one of the sweetest guys ever, and I don't think people understand yeah, that. No, that's not really true. <laughs> he's, he's, a so big, he's, he's a big teddy bear. Yeah. He's a big <laughs> teddy bear. Well, that's why I gave the. Yeah, that's good. That's well, why well, I gave all right, the context. We will uh, we'll give you the payment for yeah. that. For yeah, the, when, uh, when there's no pickle on his yeah. Uh, yeah. hot chicken. Yeah, when he's yeah. that yeah. meant a lot to me. You know, I'll get, yeah. we'll pay you double for that. Well, thank you guys well, so much for coming on, guys. Thanks it's been us. an absolute pleasure. You are all very talented young men, thank and you. it's a pleasure oh, to be wow, able to come so in sweet. here to your <laughs> vast, vastly superior set to ours. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you need to start eating vegetables because you look yeah. older than we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, guys, it's it's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much yeah. for having us. Hassan yeah. and Wilna, folks. Keep chuckling. Woo